All right. All right. Let's rock and roll. Let's do an invocation. A tarot. Love team. All my friends and family are here to play a little tarot with us tonight. Let's tell everybody what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help my friends see and hear what they need. Thank you so very much, love team. Help me to remember my new format tonight. Help me to flow nicely with that. Appreciate your love team. Let's do it. Because I can't do this without you. All right, let's rock and roll, everybody. Let's rock and roll. Tarot time, huh? Where's my coins at? Where's my coins at? Oh, lordy. Look at all my notes I got anymore. <laughs> got a lot going on. Thank you, everybody. I like a lot going on. Hey, here we go. Here we go. All right, I see some shout outs right there. All right. Let's go. Got all my notes ready. Need that one up on top right now. It's got all my changes, reminders of changes. All right. Tarot time, my lovelies. Wednesday night with the family. I feel good. I hope you do too. Alessandra, hello, hello, hello. Let's do it. Let's see who's up first tonight. All four elements, air, fire, water, earth. Swinging the coins, flipping the coins around. Who, oh, who is that? Air. Air cutting their way to the front of the line tonight. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus. It's tarot time for my air babies. I don't think they've been first up for a minute. That's who Source dropped the coin for. Let's go, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I just go with the flow. I let Source put the order out. Let's go, Aquarius, Libra, Jimmy Jam. Chris, Libra, Jimmy Jam. Here we go. First, Gemini. Ooh, a lot of shout for Gemini right there. A lot of shout for Gemini. Let's go. Jimmy Jam. Gypsy Angel hit it. Lilac hit it. All right, my psychic friends. Hey, Star. Nice to see you tonight. Well, get your rest, my friend. Get your rest. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. That's rock and roll. It's tarot time. Hello, Gemini. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Doing doing relationship spreads here with you, um, but you know I'm going to be focusing on love. I'm going to jump right on into your spread today. If you want to know what I might have going on, announcements those will be done at the end of the video. Let's rock and roll, Jim and I playing some tarot. I will be freestyling with the tarot Illuminati majors with the tarot apocalyptus and some love cards for gemini sun moon rising venus let's do it jimmy jam jimmy jam tarot time first card out a love card what's it saying for gemini worth waiting for Ooh, what you got showing up around here a little divine timing divine timing showing up around here for my gemini Ill worth waiting for. Well, generally good news right there. Well, source talking about worth waiting for. Let's go, Gemini. What you got going on? What you got going on? Divine time and you know, Mikey always says divine time and starts now. Give me another card, Gemini. Here we go. What's going on? Honeymoon. Hey, oh, ooh, going on a little trip. 
This is an interesting card. It says, um, enjoy the bliss of time together. You know, so if, if we got divine timing and enjoy the bliss of time together, that means that this could be something important, somebody important. Um, and to enjoy the bliss, like, don't argue, <laughs> don't fight. If you have an opportunity to hang with a new friend, new for me can be six months. It's nice, man. Worth waiting for divine timing and honeymoon card. You know, I always see that as the angel coming in there, man, bringing the boat in. Michael row the boat ashore, right? It says, enjoy the bliss of time together. So you got to meet up with somebody, it looks like. Hmm? It says, enjoy the bliss. Let's go. What do we got? Uh, we got a reconciliation card there as well. Could very well be somebody that you know, somebody coming back. Doesn't have to be. I'm going to pull another card. Got a lot of Geminis out here. Got a nice honeymoon card. If it is a reconciliation of some degree, it's a sweet energy. It's a sweet energy uh, worth waiting for. You may have been talking with Source about the return of your friend. Anyway, I'm going to pull one more so there's a reconciliation. This could be new for others. Uh, worth waiting for. Divine timing. Give me one more. Love card for Gemini. Because you deserve love. What's going on around here, man? Gemini's shooting their love arrows around in my spread. I like it a lot, Jimmy Jim. Could be a return. Could be new. But all these are very high-flying cards. Look at that playfulness. Playfulness, Jimmy Jim. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It's time to have fun. It's time to have fun. This is a nice light. I'm a nice light energy right here, Jimmy Jim. I like it. Let's go. Let's play some tarot around here, okay? We're gonna freestyle with the tarot Illuminati. We're gonna we're gonna cut the deck for an overall on your love spread, and then you know who are you thinking about? Who are you thinking about? Right? Uh, their feelings, their intentions, their actions, their behaviors, your feelings. Um, and potential outcome right here. Potential outcome on this, well, lovely feeling that I have with this right here. Worth waiting for, divine timing, uh, honeymoon. For some of you, a reconciliation energy. Others of you, knowing that you deserve love. And look at uh, shooting, the, shooting the love arrow right there at the playfulness swing. So let's go. Gemini, Gemini, Terlaminati, overall, overall. Jimmy Jim, what's going on? We're there. Let's cut the deck. The Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Here we go. Three swords. Ooh, man, this, this could be ending a cycle of uh, heartache and heartbreak. Is that what's going on? All I know is this is an overall ride here. There's been some challenging times for some of my Gemini, huh? Are you ready? Let's do a little spiritual surgery. Here we go. Out, out, out of Gemini's heart, out of Gemini's spread. See, there's a chariot coming in here. It's a cancer energy, a major arcana. There's somebody moving towards Gemini or Gemini moving towards them. Coming out of the old city, got a yin-yang or ponies right here, huh? Dark pony, light pony, came out. Yeah, we got a healing going on around here, if you ask me. Let's go. Who are you thinking about? Who's this chariot charging in here, Gemini? Gemini, what are they thinking and feeling about my Gemini? Let's do a little investigative tarot. What are they thinking and feeling about my Gemini? Here we go. First card out. Ooh, damn. On the on the on the on the This is the hair fan showing up around here. The old Pope of the tarot deck. I'll be like, what are they thinking and feeling about, about Gemini? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, go ring shopping. <laughs> 
Oh, Hierophant right off the bat, right there. Divine timing, honeymoon. Oh, damn, that might be a real honeymoon coming in here. Ooh, Lordy. Lordy. Somebody wants to end all the heartache and heartbreak. They're coming in here with the Pope. <laughs> They're showing up with the Pope in the chariot. Okay. <laughs> Their intentions. Their intentions. Gemini. Another major arcana, did you see it jump? It's the hermit. Um, a lot of healing with that, uh, the hermit energy. Whoever this is right here, I've been thinking about you for a minute, even if they haven't been around you. <laughs> they get some some bright ideas from the from source. You know, this is a quiet card. Healing the heart, healing the mind, uh, planetary alignments lining up. We got some kind of moon cycle going on. Didn't we just have a full moon? Anyway, two major arcanas. Somebody's getting the bright idea that they like Gemini a lot, and that they like to, I don't know, dance around the maples. Here we go. Here we go. Two major arcanas, Virgo, Taurus. Gemini, their actions, what they're going to do? What they're going to do? <laughs> Giggling. What they're going to do? We got a devil that showed up around here and eight wands. I know what they want to do. They want to do the do. <laughs> hey, hey, they want to do the do. You know, people be asking me, what's that card you didn't show? It's the devil. I don't want to freak anybody out with the devil and eight wands. This is boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom. Somebody wants to make up for lost time. And there may be a distance. I got eight wands and the chariot and this uh, honeymoon card as well with the boat going up to the dock in Venice. Ooh, Ooh they want to make up for lost time. Give me some on that. Give me some on that eight wands and that devil. <laughs> hey, here we go. Just to clarify it, just clarify that devil right there. Because, you know, that's eight wands. Okay, it's not just one ace <laughs> and a devil. Here we go. Yeah, Jamie Jam. Somebody wants to see you. Justice came out on this. Another major arcana. See, this is balancing out karma. This is balancing things out. A lot of majors, huh? Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Capricorn. May mean something to you. Oh, and for those of you, for is a potential return. It's five pins. These are my soulmates. They come play with each other incarnation after incarnation. When one feels left out in the cold, the other one feels the burn too. And both, they're both supposed to go up this stairwell right here to that big lit up building. That's where source is at right here. So the gods live up there in the big old lit up house. So here we go, Gemini. Hey, Shelves, nice to see you. Somebody. Who <laughs> wants to play, man? They want to bring justice in. They've been, they, the gods have been talking to them. It's a nice balancing energy right here. And, you know, I don't see anything bad with this. You know, it's adult fun. Let's go. Let's go. What's Gemini thinking, feeling about their person right here? What's Gemini thinking and feeling about all this? See, this is somebody wanting to come in and heal some heartbreak and heartache. It's a beautiful healing spread right here. It is. I feel good. Let's go, Gemini. Let's Gemini. Give me an idea what Gemini may be thinking and feeling about. You know, them. Oh, another major arcana. A Sagittarius card. It says, Mike, I feel that I've been very patient with them. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm tempered. I'm balanced. And we've been letting Mike mix some cups up around here. You know, I, I like it. It's a beautiful healing energy. That's a healing card, right? It's 
Michael the Archangel, it's temperance. Yeah, I would like a little, I'd like a little sweet time here, Mike. That's what it says to me. But take a look at this. Give me a card right here. Give me another one. Gemini's feelings, huh? Gemini's feelings. Uh, um, a Knight of Pentacles. We'll take this one step at a time, and and uh, you know the Knight of Pentacles for me is that energy of something that has the potential to actually cross the cross the finish line, right? To take it to the Ten of Pentacles world, the Ten of Pentacles palace. We'll take it one step at a time. I've been patient. This is these are cards of real victory. They are one step at a time, knowing that you deserve love. Playfulness is here. Honeymoon. Reconciliation energy for some. Really, really nice. Uh, there's a nine cups on here, which talks about somebody that's watching me is going to get their wish fulfillment. This is a beautiful love story opening up right here. Many of my Gemini friends. Oh, look, the sun's underneath that too. The sun and nine of cups. Ooh, la, la, man. Mike been mixing cups here for a minute with this story, huh? Well, we got some breakthrough in my lovers. We got some breakthrough in my lovers in Gemini's read. Give me a couple cards right here for potential outcome. Oh, fiery, passionate communication. It's a page of wands. It's like a minor arcana fool card. A lot of fresh starts, a new beginning. Fiery, passionate communication. Communication that makes you both feel good. Crushy, crush. Another one. Look at these two are falling in love. These people are falling in love. <laughs> That's what this is right here. That's what this is right here. Apologies if need be. Passionate communication. It's nice. It's a great way to start right here, huh? But um, don't don't be too much like this, Jimmy Jim. This is Queen of Swords, right? She can be a little standoffish. Be more like this, like Queen of Wands, right there. You know, know your worth. Know how amazing you are, male or female, right there. I'm just gonna read those cards like that. Queen of Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands came out. You can look at those as energies. I'm going to. I see a new communication between you two. Fiery, making up, kissy face. And then, you know, don't be too cold and detached. We did get that card about playfulness right here to recapture romance. You know, let your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and the sun. So let your, let your, <laughs> allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Give me a major on this for Gemini. It's a beautiful, beautiful love story unfolding between two people that are actually falling in love. Here we go, Gemini. Oh, the Emperor came out. Aries, seated in their power. I like this Emperor. It looks like they got the wheel in their hand. Let's see what else comes out. You know, the Emperor is an energy of stability, entrepreneurship. Really a nice card. And um, let's see, there's a world right there. <laughs> look at my two look at my two right here anyway it's a strength card you know all, all the weapons <laughs> rawr, rawr. and uh, the old emperor up there with the, the old javelin as well so there's there's been challenges with these two but you know I want to put this card right in the middle of them right here it's the world card it's absolutely gorgeous ain't it and this can very well talk about an old cycle has ended between these two and a new cycle has begun. So put your weapons down, you two. Put your weapons down. It's time to get on the swing and have some fun in Gemini's world. Love and light, Gemini. Thanks for uh, tuning in one more time. Thanks for hitting that like button while you're thinking about it. If you watched my show to the end and you got an idea for a title for this video, I'd appreciate you leaving that in the comments for me. And I want to invite you to a party, uh, July 23rd, uh, beautiful Palm Coast, Florida, a meet and greet going on. 
It's a one-day event. It'll be from 12 noon to 10 p.m. I'm getting a bunch of food from Publix and bringing that out. BYOB, bring your own party favors. Uh, the official address is in the description area. Go ahead and get ready for that road trip. It's a free event. You don't want to miss it. Love and light, Gemini. Bye for now. All right, let's do it again. I've worked out nice doing it at the end. Thank you, my friends. Aquarius, Libra. Aquarius, Libra. Aquarius, Libra. Libra, babies. My Libras. Hey, Sandra, nice to see you tonight. Rest well, Alessandra. Rest well, my friend. All right. Bye, Gypsy. Have a great night. All right. Well, that was fun. Hey, Bella. Nice to see you tonight. All right, a couple of pops off of my, uh, I don't know, banana sky. I don't know what these are anymore. <sighs> Libra. What's going on with my Libra babies, love team? <laughs> Is that right, Black T? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Sandra. Oh, Montana's here. Hey, Montana. Thank you. Thank you. So glad you're here. All right, let's do it. Libra, babies. Libra. Libra Connect. Libra Collective. Love team. Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Give it a couple shovel shuffles, and we are playing tarot. Libra, what's going on? Libra, Libra, love and relationships. What's going on? My Libra babies, My Libras. Give me one more right here, and we're going to play some tarot Libra style. Oh, the hermit jumped out. All right, let's rock and roll. Hello, Libra. Rambling Mike here. Come play some tarot with you. Thanks for clicking that button one more time. Appreciate your time that I do. I'm going to get right into our readings today. I'm doing love readings, relationship, you know, like me homework, family, the neighbor. I'm focusing on love. Uh, I will make some announcements at the end of the video, but right now I'm freestyling. With my Libras, I'm playing with the Tarot Illuminati, Tarot Apocalyptus, and some love cards. Let's do it. A love story for my Libra babies. A love story for my Libra babies. First card out, Libra. Here we go. Healing family issues. That's an interesting card. Healing. Family issues, healing. This is a this is a forgiveness card, and it says that your love light benefits because of forgiveness. I got a healing family issue. So let's go. More for my Libra, please. Libra, some love cards here for Libra. Got a reconciliation energy. This is well, that came out in Gemini, too. Hmm. Healing family issues and reconciliation. I mean, somebody's rooting for this right here. Somebody's rooting for this reconciliation and the healing of family issues. Let's go. I like it, Libra. Here we go. Here we go. And like I said, these are relationship spreads. And a true love came oh, did I, oh. <laughs> and a true love came out. 
This is the romance of a lifetime. Well, we got some forgiveness. This is a shadow work card too for me, right? Somebody doing shadow work. Somebody actually doing the work. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning. Romance of a lifetime. A divine timing card came out as well. I wanted to see one more. A divine timing card came out for many of my Libras. Got a love story right here. Either Libra wants to play with somebody again or somebody wants to play with Libra again. All right, all right. Positive cards right here. Let's take a look. Tarot time. See what the Tarot Illuminati says. Overall, love story for Libra. Let's cut the deck. Play Tarot. Libra babies. Libra babies. What we got right here? Eight cups. Eight cups. Somebody walked away from the situation here. Somebody headed out to go take a look and see if they could find their ninth or tenth cup of wish fulfillment, right? That's eight cups. But, you know, the interesting thing about eight cups that a lot of tarot readers do not talk about is that this character can return. Especially in a, you know, all the pictures are different in the tarot decks. And these, with the tarot Illuminati, all these cups are stacked up nice and neat. Somebody went out into that wily world right there and tried to see if they could find something sweeter than that which they already had. Uh-huh. And this eight cups with these cards can absolutely talk about a return. Obviously, somebody didn't find their ninth or tenth cup out there. I don't know if this is Libra or somebody coming in here for you. It's a true love story right here and divine timing. Here we go. And some healing on this. So who are you thinking about right here, Libra? Was it you that walked away from somebody or did somebody walk away from you? Here we go. So who are you thinking about? Their feelings, their feelings for Libra. What do we got? Eight Pentacles. Well, that's an interesting card, right? Um, another eight. A lot of infinity symbol. Um, they made, I mean, if this... That this person right here is just working. Who, who are you thinking about? They at work. They just work and work and work and <laughs> work and day, work and night. I want to know what they're thinking and feeling about Libra. Huh? This is somebody just busy, busy, busy. Libra, is this you making a return right here? Because I kind of feel like this person doesn't know, know anything about this. I'm just going to channel right here. This feels like somebody doesn't expect you to show up. they just been at work. They've been working on their money, honey. They've been working on their ace of coins. They might be open to a new beginning with that, with that ace. But uh, they've been... They've been absolutely working. See, this is nine pins. It's my independent, self-assured, confident business person right there, Libra. Let's go. Let's go. Their intentions will probably just keep banking. If this is going, if this was you, and you want to go say hi to a friend. This says that uh, they don't. They don't know. Oh, but it says that they would be open to talk with you. See, that's how I'm reading it right here. It's your reading, and that's your eight cups at the top. This is a page of wands, right? It's a minor arcana fool. It's very promising if this is a Libra thinking to go and talk to a friend. Got a true love card on here. And uh, this said that um, communication that you had to this person at one time made them feel good, right? It's an exciting energy. It's a page of wands. It made them feel good. And all that kind of good stuff. So they're, they're probably open to saying hi to you. If this is resonating with you. That's 
why we watch uh, <laughs> tarot. Uh, their actions, their behavior. What's going on? Uh, eight wands. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, I wonder if some of you live at a distance from them. That may have been the problem, why things fell apart. I don't know. But eight wands is Cupid. Cupid's there is a love flying around. It's rapid communication right after a page of wands right here, my Libra friend. Positive, positive. For who's ever reaching out? For whoever's reaching out here? I'm just going to read it like that's Libra's eight cups. So you play it vice versa and all that. Give me more on their actions right here. Eight ones, page of ones. Oh, they're a little defensive though. Nine ones, a little bit of wounded warrior energy going on around here, you know. But uh, they're oh, look at them. They think you're a hotty toddy. They think you're a hotty toddy. So there's great potential. Look at them. They're looking through the fence right there. They're looking through the fence, Libra. They got some fire in their chart. Here's Leo Sagittarius. They're looking for the looking through the fence right here, right? They got the ace of wands. They might be willing to go one more. There's the ace of wands over here. Look at you two. Look at you two. A lot of passion here. A lot of passion here, ain't there? All right. What's Libra thinking and feeling about this individual? There's a return here. Somebody did not find what they were looking for out there. And uh, there's a nice energy here. Somebody just went to work. And uh, <laughs> let's go. Libra, what are you thinking and feeling about this person right over here? Give me a card. True love. Divine timing on this thing here. Oh, <laughs> it might be Libra ready to give the car. I mean, I normally don't read this way, but I just read cards. So it's not for everybody. It can be vice versa, too. It's the night of cops, Libra. <laughs> hey, you ready to offer your love cup to somebody? Hi, here's my cup. Oh, Lottie. <laughs> Hi, here's my cup. Put that right there on true love. Let's go for it, man. Be bold. Be brave. A six wands. Six wands on this. How's Libra feel? Um, like they would like some victory after a battle, or um, did you miss this person's attention? Is that what it's saying to me? Could very well be. You miss somebody? <laughs> I think they miss you too. That's nice. Oh, and the bill. Look at you, Libra. What? Hey, Libra, where's your two swords here? <laughs> yeah. Three Pinnacles is about building a new foundation with somebody that's important. It's, it is Libra. They're right there, man. Justice. This is this is Libra. Huh? Who is this right here? They they want to talk to you too. Says you're nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof. I'm just going to read tarot. That's a, that's a moon card. And they probably do live at a distance from you. There's three wands for many of my Libras. That could have been the reason why this fell apart. You know, distance can be a challenge. Anyway, it's a beautiful spread. Press on through. Press on through. You know, the moon card for me is about following somebody or something that's intriguing to you down that old smoky trail right there. All right, let's 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 look at potential outcome right here. Potential outcome should work out nice with the spread. That's what we want to know. Yeah, what's the tarot say, Mike? I'm thinking about somebody. I want to say hi to him again. Yeah, potential outcome. Potential outcome. Eight swords. See, somebody's all up in their head, Libra. This is uh, air energy. Somebody's all up in the head. All right. And then I came out after that moon. All right. Here we go. Libra, potential outcome. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, that's a, you know, it's all up in the head about a reconciliation. See, three cups. You know, but, you know, never know. You don't want to go up the, up the stairwell right there. 
to a new cornucopia level. Okay, here we go. Be brave, be bold. What do you, what do you know? You know, if they say no, they say no. No harm, no foul. Here we go. Here we go. Libra, potential outcome. What we got? Wow, you pulled a healing card. Even if things don't come back together, a lot of healing energy right here for you. Healing the heart and healing the mind. Again, that's Libra energy. A lot of healing here for you, my Libra friend. Let me just reach out. <laughs> the lovers showed up, Libra. <laughs> um, the healing card, right? Four of Swords. Um, <laughs> oh my God! What is this right here? What is this? Is this is this a twin flame thing? Four of Wands came up right after the lovers. And uh, the hermit came out, you know, Virgo. And uh, I always see that as source shining their lantern on four wands and the lovers. <laughs> this could be your friendly uh, twin flame uh, return. Vice versa, whatever's going on around here has great potential. Okay. All right, there's unfinished business here, as we say in the tarot world, right? All right, nothing's written in granite. Says you never know unless you ask. Let's go, let's go. Libra, Libra babies, give me a major. What else they want to say to Libra? Oh, it's the Empress. It's a Libra card. That's a Libra card. It's Venus. That's Venus right here. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's Queen of Swordsy right there. Oh, that's a Libra card too. Look at that wild how that just showed up right there. And that's a Libra card. The Empress. Love and abundance. Passion. Lavishness. <laughs> Hangman, I got to pull one more, right? Because it's telling the same story, you know. Never know unless you ask. You never know unless you reach out and say hi. Can't guarantee anything. <laughs> Can't guarantee anything. That is Hangman. That is Hangman. About getting the vision. Oh, Libra, what's going on with you? Getting the vision right here. And uh, the hermit for once to the lovers. That could be twins. Yeah, somebody's getting a vision. Somebody's getting a new perspective. One more. What do we got? Libra. The sun. That's a great card. That's a great card right there. A great potential right here. I don't know. Some of you are going to go all the way. The hair font. Some of you, this is going to go, man. The sun to the hair font. Anyway, I'm going to pull some cards up for you. Do what's best for you. This is definitely a return energy. Somebody's not going to do it. They're not going to have the courage. Somebody's going to reach out and uh, they may say no. And somebody's going to reach out. And we got the sun and the hair plant. So be led and guided, Libra. I hope you enjoyed that reading. I enjoyed reading it for you. If you did enjoy it. Thanks for hitting the like button on the way out. I also want to let you know if you got an idea for a title um, for the video and you watched it this far, thank you and leave that in the comments. I also want to invite you before I go to a meet and greet I got coming up July 23rd, beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. I've been talking about it for a minute. It's free. It'll go from 12 noon to 10 p.m. I got a DJ coming in. I got a bunch of food ordered up. If you want to bring a little something to eat, you can. I'll be playing tarot there. Hope to see you. 
Sunday, July 23rd, beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. The official address is in the description area of this video. And I will talk to you soon, Libra. Love and light. Bye for now. All right, let's go. Aquarius. Aquarius babies. Aquarius babies. Hey, Serenity. All right, thank you, my friend. All right, where are we at? Aquarius, huh? All right, all right, my Aquarian friends. Make sure I got everybody on my list. Oh, Jamie. Jamie, 33 months, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. I got you for Thursday, the 13th, Jamie. Thank you, Sarah. You're just so kind. Appreciate you so very much. Jamie Hoffman, 33 months of membership. Really looking forward to pulling cards for you, Jamie. I got you for Thursday, Thursday evening, the 13th. 6.30 is when we'll start, Jamie. Thank you again, my friend. And thank you again to Sarah. All right. Let's play some cards with Aquarius, huh? Aquarius, love team. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius. Let's shake them up here for a minute with Aquarius. We're going to rock and roll. We're going to rock and roll. We're going to play tarot. Straight out of the shoot tonight. Straight out of the shoot. Aquarius, Aquarius love team, what's going on with Aquarius, Aquarius collective, Aquarius, let's go, let's go. Shaking them up. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's interesting, Aquarius, two major arcanas came out. The Emperor and Judgment. Kid talk about somebody, you know, divine masculine energy, uh, desiring some kind of reconciliation with you. That was Aries, Scorpio. Let's go. Hello, Aquarius. Rambling Mike here, going to play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time, my Aquarius friends. Appreciate you, that I do. I'm going to get right into the readings. Uh, I got announcements at the end of the video if you want to stick around. But we are doing love spreads here, relationship spreads. They can talk about home, work, family, the neighbor. They can talk about your lover. All that being said, it's tarot time around here, Aquarius. Let's do a couple of love cards because I am looking for a love story for my Aquarians. I am looking for a love story from my Aquarians. First card out, Aquarius. Let's rock and roll. Engagement. Well, what's going on around here? Engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Oh. Well, that might be a different energy. I had the emperor... And a reconciliation. Some of you may be some kind of reconciliation energy. Some of you could be a new friend. All I know is we got engagement right here. 
Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, trust came out. That's a trust card. It's a faith card. Give me more on this. Trust. Hmm. Faith. Well, I mean, if, if you're talking serious, reconciliations coming out again. That's the third time all of my air babies pulled that reconciliation card. Trust, engagement. See the emperor. The emperor, I put them back in there. Let's see if they come back out. So this could be the return of a divine masculine energy, male or female, right? Could very well be. Somebody wants some kind of long term. Um, trust is here. Trust is here. And a reconciliation energy. Someone from your past is returning into your life, Aquarius. All that being said, let's give an overall. Let's give an overall. Um, you may not even want to hear this reconciliation read. But it's on the board. Overall, who are you thinking about? Who are you thinking about, Aquarius? Yeah, there it is right there, Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles for me is somebody that has thought a lot about the offer that's in their hand. They also know where the wheat grows. It grows behind the throne of the Empress. They want a new start, a new beginning. They want to come out of the choppy uh, or the red flowers. They want to come out of the challenging times. They want to walk past the cherry tree right here. Have good luck and good fortune. This is uh, a direct contact with you Aquarius let's go have a cup of coffee uh, Aquarius let's talk on the phone Aquarius let's talk about watching the sunrise in the morning overall right here Aquarius let's go oh because somebody's got oh it's the emperor they showed up here we go here we go the emperor male or female masculine energy has got visions of grandeurs dancing in their head, Aquarius. Ten cups. Ten cups. Uh, uh, reconciliation. You know, this is the thought. Oh, my God, I walked away from my ten cups. Uh, and uh, I got a plan. I've been thinking about saying something to you for a minute, Aquarius. I, what are they going to say to you? Uh, they want a commitment with you. That's where trust comes in, huh? about a reconciliation energy let's go aquarius get a, get ready get ready get ready somebody wants to play with you there's a bunch of aquarius uh, that are excited about this i guarantee you there's other aquarius that are getting up running bolting that door right now i'm just a piano player i'm going to tell you what the cards say what are they thinking and feeling about aquarius who are you thinking about right here who is this aquarius they got, they got masculine energy. They got the emperor energy on them. Huh? They see they missed 10 cups, and they got a plan to re-get it. Who, who is that? So let's go. Their feelings for Aquarius. i already seen it's 10 cups. Oh, oh, Aquarius, Aquarius. We are soulmates, Aquarius. Come on over here under the old oak tree and give me a big kiss, baby. I brought the healing caduceus here with us, Aquarius. Oh, they feeling two cup energy. Oh, 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 oh. oh Aquarius, let's go. Let's go. Aquarius, we got returns here coming out. Here we go. Here we go. Another one, huh? Their intentions. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Aquarius. A Scorpio card came out. Major Arcana. Death card. Death and rebirth. This is definitely something that was dead dog in the middle of the road. Dead. They want to raise up. They want, they, they, they want this thing to come back to life. You're my soulmate, Aquarius. You're my 10 cups, and I got a plan. 
I got a plan. Give me a card right here on their actions. Their actions, Aquarius. Who the Empress? <laughs> hey, we got an Emperor and an Empress story right here. And we do. Yes, we do. An Emperor and an Empress story. Thank you, Jenny. We'll be with you in a minute, my friend. So, I mean, their actions, right? Being the Empress. I don't know. Come in with love. <laughs> It's Venus, man. You know, to put on their Sunday best and put their best foot forward. See, I told you they know where the wheat grows. You know, it grows behind the Empress's throne. See? All right, back there. It's all wheat, fruit trees. Well, I mean, their actions are to, you know, offer love, man. Offer to birth a new world with or the Aquarius. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Give me another one on their actions. Their actions. Here we go. Hey, BB. Nice to see you tonight. Oh, well, they know. <laughs> There's their actions, Aquarius. Boom, da da boom, da da boom, 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 Aquarius. I got a ace of wands for you, male or female. Oh, honey, want to bring in the fire. What's Aquarius thinking and feeling about this right here? Uh, you may not even have been thinking about it. Well, who are you thinking about? If they were to show up, I'd like to see what you may be thinking and feeling about. That. Give me a card. Oh, freaking five swords. As one of my friends says, no thanks. Five swords. Ooh, ooh! This is somebody that got put out in the in the timeout chair. Probably got fired because they don't know how to love on you, right? I can say that with uh, five swords. It's the uh, somebody didn't know how to love on you, right? Card, and they got f -f 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 fired. And you stood up and did what's best for you. Oh, well, oh, they definitely swooning over here. Oh, well, this could very well be a player. Could very well be narcissistic energy. Maybe they maybe they lost their A1 feed. And maybe this is the only energy that they know. Anyway, Source is doing some kind of transformational work in this person's life because of you, Aquarius. The five swords says, <laughs> I don't know. Five swords on that reconciliation card. I wish them the best. I want you to do what's best for you, Aquarius. Okay, let's pull some more out here. What's Aquarius think and feeling about uh, this return energy right here? This return energy that's on the board. There you go, right there. See, there are some that are going to come in and do the work again. I don't know. The Aquarian I'm reading for, they don't trust this person for nothing, man. Seven swords came out. Seven swords, five swords. Right? This is the old liar and the cheater. Oh, man. They may have air in their chart, Aquarius, Sleeper, Gemini. Uh, and, and the Aquarian that I'm reading for may just uh, stay single. Nine pins, right? My independent, self assured, confident business person stacking some coins. Looking good, Aquarius. And you, you definitely be attracting, attracting some energy. See, look, I don't know the Aquarian that I'm reading for. This is possibly a hell no, but you rock your own world. There is judgment, a Scorpio card, Gabriel blowing the horn of resurrection. And uh, Aquarius, I'm going to let you decide what you're going to do with this sword right here. This is a sword of uh, truth, clarity. Is a sharp sword. It's able to cut uh, things and people out of your life that no longer serve you. Uh, it's got a crown of integrity, so they need to come in with a crown of integrity. They need to come in with a piece of the palm fronds, the olive branch. That's your card right there, Aquarius. All right. So there will be a decision made right here. 
let's pull a couple of cards for potential outcome. Stillness. Um, the high priestess came out. Stillness following the leading and the guiding of the high priestess. Um, potential outcome. Or potential with these two. The King of Cups just showed up. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Mm. I mean, there's love here. Um, just follow your heart. Is there somebody else? I'm wondering where that 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 king just came out of the blue. That king really don't fit this story. Is this somebody else, Aquarius? Is this is this is this like third wheel coming in here? I, I want more on that. Give me something about this King of Cups. This King of Cups. There is more than one Aquarius and a King of Wands. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, there are two Aquarius. <laughs> uh, looks like somebody may have got wind of that, maybe. Somebody get wind? Aquarius got, you know, a friend. Anyway, that is a card of intuition and using your, your, your divine intuition to lead you <laughs> to the right person right here. Huh? If you already got something going on with somebody and, and, and an old friend finds out about that, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not big on the return anyway. I will read it. But this says the choice is yours. And, you, you know, look, 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 we got an ace of wands here and a king of wands. And there's an ace of swords. You no know, you know, king of cups over there. The king of cups is somebody that uh, they got deep feels for you, but they never really told you about it. And the king of the King of Wands is somebody passionate, and uh, they get up and go and after what they want. So you may have a couple people pursuing you around here. Anyway, let's go. What's going on around here? The Tower. Oh, jeez. <laughs> tower came out, Aquarius. Who skulls in their hand right there? Anyway, it's about sudden change. Sun change. Aquarius, we got a fucking devil here, man. We got a devil in a tower. Don't get tangled up in something again, Aquarius. Don't get tangled up, oh, man. If there is two people, choose wisely, Aquarius. Yes, justice, balance. And the lovers, there is a choice here for many of my Aquarians. Choose wisely. Be balanced. Don't, don't play with the devil again, Aquarius. <laughs> I wish you the best. I love you, Aquarius. I'll talk with you in a couple of days. Namaste. Love and light. Sure and hit that like button on the way out if you followed the video all this way. Appreciate it, my Aquarius friend. If you got an idea for a title, leave that in the comments for me. Thank you very much. And I do want to invite you just a couple weeks away, Aquarius. I got a meet and greet coming up in beautiful Palm Coast, Florida, Sunday the 23rd. The official address in the description of this video. I got a bunch of Publix food. If you feel like bringing a little something, bring it with you. Uh, it's a free event from noon till 10 p.m. Got DJ coming in. We're going to play tarot. We're going to rock and roll. So then walking distance of the beach. It's going to be a great time. Looking forward to seeing many, many, many of my Aquarius friends July 23rd. Love and light, Aquarius. All right. All right. Whoo. Yeah, my new format is definitely different. All right, let's go. Water, fire, earth. 
What a fire uh. <laughs> Earth babies. Capricorn. Taurus. V -v 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 Virgo. Let's go. Let's go, my Earth babies. You ain't got to wait all night. What do you think about that? Hot diggity dog. All right. That's my Earth babies. My Earth angels. Put you right there. I like that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Lulu. Nice to see you tonight. Here we go. <laughs> I like that, Keys. Here we go. Here we go. It's Capricorn. It's Capricorn right there. My little pink devil. My little pink devils. <laughs> yeah. Capricorn. What is going on? Love and light. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's rock and roll. With Capricorn, I'm interested to see what the cards say, Capy Cap. They've been interesting tonight. Hi, Jessica. Well, I got Capricorn shouting over here, man. Let's do it. Let's shuffle. Let's shuffle. Here we go. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, Capy Cap, Capy Cap. Oh, you be safe, Dave. Here we go. All right, Capricorn, Capy Cap, Capy Cap. Let's rock and roll. Oh, I like that serenity. That's just simple and profound. Yeah, I like that. All right. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's rock and roll. All right, here we go. Hello, Capricorn. Rambling Mike here. I'll play some tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time that I do. I will have some announcements at the end of the video, but I'm going to get right into your cards. We're looking for a love story around here, Capricorn. These are relationship spreads. They can talk about uh, home, work, family, the neighbor. But I'm focusing on love. I'm going to freestyle with my Tarot Illuminati and uh, Tarot Apocalyptus. I'm going to start your read off with some love cards. That being said, it is tarot time around here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me a love story from a Capy Cap. Thank you, love team. Here we go. What do we got? Capricorn. First card out. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. You know, don't be closed-minded to love. It said soulmate right there. Got a soulmate energy going on around here. Capricorn, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may be different than your usual type. Let's go. Give me a card. Capricorn, love, engagement. Damn, what's going on here, man? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. It's a beautiful energy right there. Keep an open mind. Soulmate may differ from your usual type. That ain't nothing to be scared about. 
Okay. And then we got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Capricorn. Nice cards. Give me one more. Here we go. Forgiving and learning came out. Oh, as you release and heal the past. This, this is new. New for me can be up to six months. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Capricorn, give me one more love card right here. We got forgiving and learning. Got a love story. Different soulmate. See? It's a different energy here for many of my Capricorns. We got forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. And then we got uh, uh, a soulmate. Your, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations right here. And wow, we got to give this a chance. Give this new energy a chance. That's what it says right here. It does say engagement on this as well. Higher, higher level of commitment. This potential with this right here. All that being said, who are you thinking about, Cappy Cap? Who are you thinking about? That was the king of the world right there. King of pens. You know, Capricorn. You know, that would be you, the catch. Let's do it. Let's go. And overall right here with this love story for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Overall, Terra Luminati. Cut the deck. Cappy Cap. What's going on? Overall. Oh, communication. It could be a new love story right here with a a page, a, a princess of cops on the telephone. The telephone is ringing. It's got the little fish right there all lit up. It's a page. It's a communication card. It's a crushy crush card right here. It's a hello. How you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good. How you doing today? I'm doing good, too. That's a beautiful overall, man. Fresh, fresh love showing up around here. And my Capricorn spread. All right, who are you thinking about? Who are you talking on the phone? Who make me feel good right here? I like it. Their feelings for Capricorn. For one style. <laughs> Uh, so he wants to dance around the maples, man. We got an 11 11 card as well showed up around here. Somebody wants a, oh, somebody's got a crushy crush on my cappy caps, man. I just, you know, <laughs> hey, hey, okay, man. An engagement, yeah. You, yeah, your love life can be ascending to a higher level of commitment. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go, Cappy Cap. Give me a card right here. That's their feelings. <laughs> Four wands. Oh, let's make a little bonfire. Yeah. Their intentions, Capricorn. Oh. Um. Oh, there's been some kind of breakup around here somewhere in the story. I'm shaking these out. These three swords don't need to be in the story. Are you with me, Cappy? Let's shake these out. Here we go. Out, out, out of Cappy's heart, out of Cappy's love story, out of Cappy's. Their intentions are to heal. Star energy. Star and four of wands. What is this I'm looking at right here, Cappy? <laughs> I think that uh, it's been some kind of breakup. At, you know, um, and this is a beautiful healing energy that's actually coming in here, Crystal. Thank you very much. It's very interesting, Cappy Cap. What is this right here? They think you're the star, man. Yeah, they do, man. They think that you're their healing. Maybe they've been a breakup. I don't know. A lot of healing here. Really clearing energies. Their actions. Who are you thinking about over here? Who are you talking to, man? 
Their actions. They want to dance around the maples. This, this bird spun up. Crystal, thank you. Four of Pentacles came out. <laughs> hey, if this person was holding back, because, you know, four pins can talk about somebody that was holding back. You got an ace of pins right there and eight wands. This person ain't holding back no more. Capricorn. Capricorn. Well, Who's ever was holding back ain't holding back no more. Nope. <laughs> let's go man. let's go what's capricorn thinking and feeling about their friend over here you know and wants to dance around the maypole with them you know heal anything that was out of alignment they want to build new man the golden coin eight wands they want to tuck your ear off what's capricorn thinking and feeling about this person right here What the hell is going on right <laughs> home now? Home now, home now. A hair fan showed up around here, Capricorn. Now, I'm not sure who this is. An ace of cups. So, if this is new right here, if this is new, uh, this person is blown away by you. They absolutely wanted to go forward. And um, a hair and an ace of cups came out. And for some of you, some of you know this person right here, Capricorn. And let me just read it just like I did with my Libras. If this is Capricorn and you want to reach out to somebody with this page right here, this I mean, an apology card, let's make things right. This could say that my Capricorn wants to dance around the Maypole and heal with somebody. Somebody that Capricorn may have been holding back from. But uh, we want to give them a solid offer right here. And we want to uh, shoot Cupid's arrows of love. Uh, new perspective. That brought this reconciliation energy. That could have been a breakup here. Is that what I'm reading? Could have been a breakup here. Is, is, a, is a retrograde coming in? Because these are coming up. This says that we miss each other. And this says somebody's getting a new perspective. And this says somebody's watched this story unfold for long enough. And they're going to bust some move to build three pinnacles. Is this you, Cappy? Oh, because ten, 10 cups. Death and rebirth. Scorpio energy on this. Death and rebirth. So somebody really wants to reconcile. I swear it's, it's in his cards tonight. Has been all night. Ace of Cups, that's a new beginning. Death card is a rebirth. I mean, these could be twin flame readings that I'm looking at. What's going on with Divine Masculine? Is there a wave of them coming back in? Could very well be. Oh, there it is. It is the retrograde energy. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at potential outcome with these two. If you kept up with me right here about what this could be, definitely a reconciliation energy. Let's go. Potential outcome. What do we got here? The Queen of Pentacles. So I'm going to give this to Capricorn. It's a Capricorn card. It's my Queen of the World. Here we go. The Queen of the World. Male or female, Capricorn, you showed up right here. Strength, 
Ooh, is this Capricorn busting a move again? Just like my Libra read. This look, if you got Capricorn Libra in your chart, man, um, and you're thinking about going and talking to an old friend, strength from the gods is here. Strength from the gods. What? To go get your lover. See, both these people miss each other. See them right there? The two, there's five pins. There's two of them. They both miss each other. They both need to go up the stairwell to where source is at. And somebody's having new thoughts about all that. Hangman, dark night of the soul. Uh-huh. Potential outcome. Uh, um, Capricorn energy again. Uh, uh, that's the money tree. That's, uh, this is the, you know, this is the coin that I really want. The garden of life. Here we go. Potential outcome. It's nice. I mean, the money tree there and, and, and three cups showed up as a potential outcome is reconciliation, happiness, and joy and bliss and, and love. Look at the love. I mean, there's potential for these returns. I'm, I normally don't root for them, but the cards are nice, and they say if you're being led and guided to reach out, uh, to, to, to reach out. Anyway, give me a card right here. Cappy Cap. Cappy Cap. Different readings tonight. I like them. Do what's best for you. Either somebody's reaching out for you or you're reaching out. Got a lot of Capricorn energy, so maybe you. Ain't no, ain't no sweat on that. Go get your four ones. Go get your star lovers. Scorpio came out again. Uh, that's a death card. Death and rebirth is on this energy the second time. And, uh, and a world card came out. And this can be about an old cycle ending. I mean, don't you love this card? Look at them, man. This can be about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Between some four wanders, man. Love you, Cappy. Talk with you in a couple days. They're pretty positive cards. I wish you guys the best. Love and light. Hey, if you stuck around this long, hit that like button on the way out for me, Cappy. Appreciate that very much. That I do. Hey, if you got an idea for a title for this, leave it in the comments. Appreciate that. And I do want to invite you to a meet and greet. Been talking about it for a minute. July 23rd, beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. I got the community center right there. Nothing fancy, but it's going to be extremely special. I got a bunch of Publix food I'm bringing in. If you got a, if you got a old family recipe that you'd like to bring a little something for us, Come on, we're going to be there from 12 noon on the 23rd till 10 p.m. It's free. I got a DJ coming in. Bring your tarot cards, BYOB. Bring your swim stuff. The beach is right over the, right over the sand dune. Love you, Cappy. Enjoy the journey. Do what's best for you. Bye for now. All right. Different reads tonight. A lot of reconciliation energy. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, let's let's see what's happening. Thank you, Serenity. Okay. Just two of us. Hello, my friend. Let me see what's going on. Crystal. Thank you. Oh, it's somebody. Somebody just blessed me. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, Jenny, what's going on? 11 months, Jenny. Thank you. Um, oh, Yvonne. Oh. Oh, wonderful. Is is Giovanni is is you is Giovanni here tonight? 
Does she know that I'll be reading for her? Because I'm going I, right here on my list. Twin Flame Spirit Channel. I will shout that out. All right, that's really nice of you. Just two of us. Uh, Yvonne Speck, if you know how to contact Yvonne, um, let Yvonne know that I have I have Yvonne booked for Thursday, the 13th, uh, and we will start our show at 6.30 p.m. Just two of us. Thank you for your 11 months. Appreciate you. And who's this right here? Crystal, thank you. Hey, Sarah. Uh, Serenity, you'd like a read for your Aquarius friend. Okay, I will pull cards for your Aquarius friend. Let your Aquarius friend know that it's Thursday the 13th, um, 6.30 Eastern. Thank you, Serenity. Very kind of you. Grab a read for your friend. Thank you. All right, here we go. And there's my crystal blessing me. Thank you, crystal. All right, let's rock and roll, my air babies. My air babies. Okay. Bumblebee. Hey, Bumblebee. Nice to see you tonight. 14 months. Thank you, Bumblebee. Hitting that button one more time. <laughs> you got it. Thursday the 13th, Bumblebee. It's a week from tomorrow. My Aries friend. You know, we start at 6.30. Thank you, Bumblebee, for all your support. Hey, Christina, nice to see you. All right, let's see. Let's do it. Some Aquarius babies. Oh, we are with Earth. We are with Earth. All right. Virgo. Virgo. My Virgo delicious. My Virgo babies. Hey, Yasmin. Nice to see you tonight. <laughs> oh, I like that, Sarah. All right. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. All right, let's go. Let's see what's going on with Virgo babies. Virgo babies. <laughs> Maybe easier. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Virgo. Boy, we got a lot of people shouting for Virgo in the house. Let's go, my Virgo babies. Oh, there's your there's your major arcana. You know, that's about planetary alignments lining up. I don't know. What are the gods working on around here? Let's go. Let's go, Virgo. Virgo babies. Let's do it. Tarot tie for Virgo. 
<laughs> Here we go. Hello, Virgo. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time. I'm going to jump right into your reading today. These are relationship readings. Could be the neighbor, you know, work, home, family. I'm going to be focusing on love, but you may get a different message out of it. These are relationship spreads. And I do have some things to shout out. I will be I will be shouting out at the end of the video. If you want to stick around to the very end, that would be amazing. Other than that, it's tarot time for Virgo. We're looking at it for love. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, my Virgo babies. I'm playing with my tarot Illuminati and my tarot Apocalyptus and some love cards. It's rock and roll. It's rock and roll. Virgo style. Virgo style. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Romantic feelings with a nice save right there. Romantic feelings. These feelings are real and worth exploring. Oh, we're off on a great adventure, Virgo. We're off on an adventure around here. Be like, oh, hi. <laughs> Damn. Oh, hi. <laughs> Damn. Romantic feelings. Let's go, Virgo. Virgo babies. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give me another one for my Virgos. And another one for my Virgos. Here we go. Wow, that jumped right to the quick, didn't it? Engagement. <laughs> This, this uh, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, we were just getting some feels over here. <laughs> now, now, now we're ring shopping. What, what's going on around here, Virgo? Oh, okay. Give me another one for my Virgo babies. This looks good, don't it? Love's in the air around here. Oh, what's this? This could be the one. Well, I hope so. <laughs> if there's an extended commitment. <laughs> <laughs> this can be the one says that many of you have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Well, let's play some tarot and see what it talks about. Virgo style, Virgo babies, Virgo babies. Here we go. Here we go. Shaking up the tarot Illuminati. Let's do it. And overall, <laughs> and overall, here we go. Yeah, and overall, I want to cut this deck. I want to cut this deck. Um, I just saw five of wands, so this may have not been all that smooth up until maybe now. Five of wands did show up. I didn't want it as an overall, but it did tell me that this may have took a minute to unfold. Let's cut the deck and see what we're talking about. Let's put some out on the board. Virgo, overall, what we got? Oh, wow. The Queen of Love showed up. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Well, if there was five wands a minute ago, um, the tussle card seems to be gone. The Queen of Cups. You may be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you may have that in your chart. This is my... Um, Agape love card, right? It's the highest love card in the deck for me. It's your overall here, Virgo. All right. Who are you thinking about? These feelings are real, worth exploring. Your love life's ascending to a higher level of commitment. And you may have already met the romantic person that you seek. All right. Who are you thinking about? Their feelings. Their feelings. Their feelings from a Virgo. Virgo, Virgolicious. What do we got? Oh, a King of Pentacles showed up. Well, their feelings for you is you're the keeper. You're the keeper. You're the king or the queen of the world to your friend's eyes, right? It's commitment, right? It's the King of Pentacles. Huh? They are committed. That's a commitment energy. Go, Virgo. Go, Virgo. Let's go, man. Their feelings for you. You're the one. <laughs> You're the one. You're the one. You're grounded, balanced, stable, loving, generous, kind, giving. You know how to keep the lights on. You know, it's King of Pentacles right there. 
All right. Their intentions. Oh, uh, uh, you don't know to keep pouring the love cup. Their intentions, huh? Love, man. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Virgo. These are nice, man. What four wands? Four wands been coming out all night, man. It's the old 11 11 card, you know. Uh, it's dancing around the maypoles, right? There. This, this is somebody, man, that's uh, they like Virgo a lot. They like you a lot, Virgo. Yes, they do. There's love here. Got it. Look, we got a we got a king of pentacles and a queen of water. So we got a king of earth and a queen of water, or vice versa. This is earth. This is water. This is what makes mud. That's what life comes from. Growed ups right here, man. Growed ups. Ace of Cups to Four of Wands. Actions, 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 Virgo. Actions, Virgo. Ooh, uh, <laughs> Six of Wands. I don't know, to give you the attention that you're worthy of. To fix anything that may have been broken. I did have that Five of Wands show itself to me. And they want to fix anything that's out of alignment. It's a beautiful card that is uh, Jupiter and Leo. I like it. I like it a lot. So give me a card right here for Virgo. Let's see what Virgo. <laughs> Virgo. Making mud pies around here. Okay. Okay. What's Virgo thinking and feeling about your friend? Huh? <laughs> Don't you love the tarot, man? Yeah. yeah. Ten cups. Once upon a time, it was Virgo, and they lived happily ever after. Running around, rainbows in the sky. <laughs> Bliss. Oh, this could be the one. Ten cups. Virgo. <laughs> wow, what a nice, fun, easy spread right here for Virgo. Virgo. What's Virgo thinking, feeling about all all this going on around here. Oh, 10 cups. Give me a card right here. Huh? Oh, and eight pins. Oh, my God. Look at We're going to be thinking like, this is a power couple, Mike. We are a power couple, man. We got love. We got resources. We can build. We can do this. We can build this dream. Wow. You two are on the same page, man. <laughs> it's an ace of pinnacles. Let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a whirl right here. Eight wands. Oh, you guys, man. Eight wands. Cupid's arrows. I love flying around here. Virgo spread. Ace of pinnacles. Let's do it. You know, that's that ace of pinnacles being worked on right there. Let's do it. I like the spread, man. Whoo. All right. Potential outcome. Potential outcome. <laughs> I got two aces on here. Ace of pins, ace of cups, ten cups, four wands. Potential, in, <laughs> potential outcome. The star. Wow. Great hope, great faith, dreams coming true, healing energy, Aquarius energy. Wow. Justice. The balancing of karma. Oh, two cups. <laughs> Healing conduces. Look into my eyes. Love is all over this thing. The Knight of Cups. Hi, Virgo. Here's my cup. Davush. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful love story here, Virgo. You know, I didn't pull out one challenging card except for that five of wands. But it looks like five of wands days. You know, that's the tussle card. It looks like a five of wand days are in the past, Virgo. Super nice. Give me an invite. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. A couple of majors here for my Virgo babies. 
There it goes. What we got? <laughs> well, Michael's just showed up. Temperance. So, you know, that's a great alchemist. I told you five wands showed up. And uh, this is the blending right here. I mean, and justice is here too. You know, this is this is balance in the five D, and this is balance in the three D. Oh, that's such a nice story. And this beautiful, beautiful world cards right here, Virgo. And it um, talks about an old cycle. Between you two, it really just it really just showed a little bit of five wands right there. Whoever this is, this is nice energy. This is a super nice energy. It's about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning with you two. Love and light, Virgo. What a beautiful spread, man. Uh, if you enjoyed that and you followed this video all the way to this point, thanks for watching the video to this point. Thanks for hitting the like button, my Virgo friends, on the way out. And, um, hey, if you got an idea for a title uh, for the video, leave that in the comments for me, Virgo. And before you go, one more thing. I do want to invite you again uh, to a meet and greet I got coming up Sunday the 23rd of July. Beautiful Palm Coast. The address for the community center is in the description area of this video. Um, I will be there playing tarot noon till 10 o'clock at night. We got a DJ coming in. The beach is just over the sand dunes. So bring your, bring your beachy stuff. And, uh, Hey, uh, I'm bringing a lot of food from Publix, but if you got a little something, you know, a little family recipe you want to bring, you know, some Nana pudding or some tater salad, something like that, feel more than welcome to come. But I definitely wanted to give you one more shout, one more invite. Sunday, the 23rd, uh, road trip. Love and light, my Virgo friends. Hey, bring your friend, too, if you want. Bye right for now, Virgo. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm giggling at your title right there. Taurus. Hey, Carla. Nice to see you. Happy holidays to you too, my friend. Taurus. I wonder what the tarot going to talk about with my Taurus. Hey, Jessica. Nice to see you. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right. Taurus, babies. Denisa, hello. Nice to see you. My Taurus friend. There's Dave. Dave got the bulls up. Got the horns in the air. Let's do it. Let's read for the bulls. All right. Shake them up, Taurus babies. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Taurus, Taurus, I'm gonna shuffle them a couple times and we're gonna rock and roll. Taurus, Taurus babies. Taurus babies. Taurus babies. Taurus, Taurus love team. Give me a love read. Love story. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's tarot time. Let's do it. Hello, Taurus. Rambling Mike here. I'll play some tarot with you. Love stories. These are relationship spreads. I can't talk about homework, family. Can't talk about the neighbor. But you know, I'm focusing on love around here. And I do got some announcements. So I'm going to put them at the end of the video. If you're interested in what I have to say, stick around to the end right here. Because we're jumping right out of the gates with tarot cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I got my 
Uh, Tara Illuminati, we're going to freestyle. Tara Apocalyptus Majors, we're freestyling. And a couple of love cards. All that being said, Taurus babies, let's get right to it. What's going on, Taurus love? First card, my Taurus. What we got here? True love came out. Oh, well, we jumped right, right into it, didn't we? This is the romance of a lifetime. Sometimes those can be a little challenging. <laughs> we always think, ooh, bliss. I don't know. We'll see what comes out. We got a true love story right here, Taurus. Let's go. Let's go. Taurus babies. Taurus babies. Taurus babies. I see you right there, my friends. What's going on? Oh, but uh, something about you loving yourself first. Well, that's definitely true love. You know, you're not going to find true love until you find this love first. Oh, there's some people kissing in there, though. Bunch of angels celebrating. True love. Loving yourself first. I know we hear that all the time in the tarot world, but it's a key, ain't it? Sajid Kapi will be with you in a minute, my friend. Thank you. Taurus. True love and loving yourself first. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Taurus. Give me a card on this. Codependency. What the hell? Taurus. Loving yourself first. I got a true love story right here. And and the third card out is um, codependency. It says addictions are affecting your romantic life. You know. I need another card on that, don't I? Loving yourself first and codependency. Hmm. Definitely need to break that energy right there. Loving yourself first, codependency. Got a true love story right here. May not be unfolding, but it's codependency. You got some people loving themselves. Self-respect. Makes you more romantically attractive. I need more love cards on this, please, for Taurus. Taurus. Make the effort. Great love is where taking the steps you're guided to take. Well, I got a safe place to love here, too. All right, an interesting spread right here. A lot of healing could be happening with my Taurus friends. True love story. So this could be like, um, well, not my type or whatever's going on here with that codependency right here. That's my pink devil. That's the chains that need to be broken around here. We got make the effort. Great loves are taking the steps you're guided to take. And then here's a safe place to love. Open your heart. Oh, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Well, that could be just that whole energy right there, you know. Oh, and loving yourself first. Oh, you are opening your heart chakra. Here we go. Here we go. You know, love's an inside job. We got we got an exterior. Something's going on around here with great love, true love. But I got Taurus loving yourself first, probably healing your heart at this particular point in time. Can we go with that with codependency? Hmm? May I, may I have a friend right in your face right here, but there may be a past energy that you're still connected to. Is that what I'm channeling? There's a there's a toxic old energy right here that you still may be connected to. Huh, Taurus? I got that old safe place to love right here. Got you making the effort to love yourself first. So it's beautiful healing energy. That's what I channeled out of these cards. Let's go. Let's see if the tarot backs that up. Taurus, Taurus, love team. Got an overall energy for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go. Let's cut this deck. 
Play some terror with my Taurus babies. Cut. Taurus overall. Five swords. That's an interesting energy, isn't it? And justice as well. So this is an energy of um, change. That's a five that, you know, uh, that five, uh, the five of swords can be called, right, uh, victory at any cost. It could be an energy right here of, you know, nobody's winning at this love game right here, right? But justice is here, so that tells me that this is about to change. This is about to change right here. Justice. So, very interesting energy, Taurus. Probably been a lot of back and forth, on again, off again. Um, yeah, kind of feel that, I, I don't know, I feel that uh, Taurus needs to heal their heart, maybe from a past life lover. All right. A lover from the past that you're still holding on to right here, even though there's all this. Yeah. Five of Swords and Justice. Four of Wands is here. Yep, it's right here. Oh my goodness, Taurus. I'm just gonna read cards, man. Four of Wands energy is here. I'm going to put that right there on this true love card. And I got two swords. That's the land of indecision. Protecting the heart. Two swords. Probably one that's in front of you and maybe another lover that's still in the heart chakra right there. But this card has uh, her hair blowing back. I always call that... As the winds of change have begun to blow here. Taurus, loving yourself first. Even though, I mean, true love and four wands, this could be, I'm just going to read cards, man. This could be a Taurus right here that's actually living in a home with somebody and still holding this, Energy for somebody from the past. I'm just reading cards. Let's pour this love cup on you, Taurus. That's what it says you're doing right now. See? Holding an energy for the past. Two of swords to judgment. Right? Scorpio energy. Could be desiring to the, for a reconciliation, but I don't even see any communication. And some of you may be actually in a relationship with somebody. But it says that that old cycle has ended. That's the world card, and that a new cycle has begun. It says that that has ended a tower, a tower on that. All right. <laughs> all right. It's definitely freestyling right there. And that's all about a past energy. Uh, I'm channeling right here. I don't even know if there's any communication with that person from the past. The, the best thing, if you're, if you're resonating with this, Taurus, the best thing is to love on yourself right now. And to do your best to release yourself from that past energy. Because I don't even see no communication here. But it's definitely getting in the way of this. True love. Four wands energy. Home and hearth. Make the effort. And a safe place to love. And then we got all this in the middle of that. It says that that cycle is over. Tower. Change. It says the gods. The gods put an end to it. Uh, because it was out of balance. It was out of alignment. And I get you, Taurus. I do. I'm fixed. I'm fixed air. I'm an Aquarian. You're fixed earth. 
Um, when we give our heart to somebody, it may take a damn minute to get it back. But this is like, if you're resonating with this, this is an encouragement from source to take that energy back. Take it back for you. I don't even see no communication here. All right. I want to know about this true love. Okay, I don't even want to pull any cards on this past. It says it's done. Tower in the world. Anyway, let's go. I want to know about this new energy right here. What are they thinking and feeling about my Taurus? Oh, they love you, Taurus. This new, you know, you know who this is right here. They love you. And like, hi, Taurus. Here's my cup. Here's my cup, Taurus. This person's in love with you. That's why it's a safe place to love right here. Okay. Your friend right here, right? A safe place to love, friend. What's their intentions? Oh, Taurus. Sleepless nights. Um, they're in anguish. Do they know about this right here? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Sleepless nights. Let's go, man. Let's go. Their actions. Their actions. <laughs> man, don't let this go away. I mean, I, I just got to read what I feel. and That's done. Don't miss this for that. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Nine, nine, nine pins. Look at this, man. Nine pins and nine swords. Oh, they're thinking about maybe being single. They don't want to. I'm rooting for this person right here. I feel their energy. They want this. Or they be feeling this. As a two nines, they feel that this cycle may end. Let's go. Let's go. What's Taurus thinking and feeling about it? It says make the effort for a safe place to love. I get it, man. I love you, Taurus. Let's go, man. If you're resonating, let's go. What's Taurus thinking and feeling about your friend right here? Um... The Knight of Swords came out. Isn't that interesting? It could talk about you recognizing this energy of your friend. And uh, I call this rushing into the fray. Uh, it's my hero's card. It's somebody that made a decision right here. Hopefully to cut this energy out of your life to the best of your ability and work on this right here. Yeah, fresh start. A fool's right to it. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's find some love. Hmm? My mom always told me, hey, if you're looking for love, grab the one that's in love with you. There's a fool right there, Taurus. It's about a fresh start, a new beginning. Yeah, this is a Taurus. It's your card, male or female. It says you're going to, going to, Going to save this or attempt to save it. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let me put Taurus right there. All right. Um, so it's saying to me, it says Taurus, you're going you're gonna to use that right there and uh, cut your losses and uh, love on yourself. I don't, I think this has been over for a long time. And uh, you're going to bust a move right here with your friend. Because these are nines. Don't let this get to a ten if you like this person. This safe place to love. And this is an effort. No, we're not. We're going we're gonna to save this. <laughs> That's what it says. All right. Give me a potential outcome of these two right here. And goodbye to whatever that energy was about. Let that tower fall on that. Yeah. Be in the now. Be in the moment. Be in the now. Let the past be in the past. And don't put too much pressure on the future. Be in the now. That's what's happening here. Potential outcome. Wow, the queen of love came out. That's agape love. See, it's true love. <laughs> Go, Taurus. 
Go Taurus. Go Taurus. Queen of Love came out. And Eight Pinnacles. You know, that's putting the hard work in. That's the elbow grease. And coming out of the hangman. Coming out of Dark Night of the Soul. There's Source coming in here with my Taurus babies. Getting a new perspective. I like it, Taurus. <laughs> I like it. You can do it, man. Give me a major on this for Taurus. Taurus. What do we got? Oh, the death card. Scorpio energy. About death. And rebirth. It's right here, man. Death and rebirth. Give me one more. My Taurus babies. The Whirly Durbin. A fresh start. A new beginning. A leap of faith. <laughs> Aquarius, Aries, Uranus. Sudden change. Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Destiny. Love and light, Taurus. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading. You know, if you're looking for love, let's be in the now. Let's let the past be in the past. Let's be in the now. Hey, if you enjoyed this reading, thanks for hitting the like button. If you're, if you're this far along in the video, thanks for your view. Uh, definitely, if you got a if you got an idea for a title for this Taurus, leave it in the comments. Thank you very much. And before I go, I want to invite you one more time. I want to invite you one more time. We're almost there, July twenty third. That's a Sunday. I got a meet and greet coming up. Beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. Nothing fancy, but very special. We rented the community center. Uh, just over the sand dune is the Atlantic Ocean. So if you're coming, bring your bring your beach uh, stuff. Um, I got a bunch of food I ordered up from Publix. If uh, you want to bring a little some some nanner, some you know some nanner pudding or you know some brownies or tater salad, whatever. If you got bring bring that with you as well. It's a free gig. It's going to go from noon till. Till 10 p.m. I got a DJ coming in and all that. So we got some music. Bring your tarot cards. I'm bringing my tarot cards. We're going to be playing tarot all day long. Looking forward to seeing you, Taurus. Bring a friend. Love and light. Bye for now. All right. Carmen, hello, my friend. All right, let me see here. What's going on around here? Sag Cappy. I do believe that my two friends. Yep, Sag Cappy. Hello, my friend. 14 months. Sag Cappy. Where are we at? Saz Cappy, I got you booked right here for Thursday the 13th. That's a week from tomorrow. It'll be an evening show, 6.30. Got you booked in. Looking forward to reading for you, Saz Cappy. Who else threw me a banner up here? Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Busted that year, didn't you? Thank you, my friend. All right. Carmen. Martinez. Carmen, my saggy friend. Thank you. I got your book for Thursday. That's a week from tomorrow. Thursday the 13th, my friend. So set your calendar. And it'll be it'll start 630 Eastern, all that kind of fun stuff. 
Looking forward to it. We still got six spots available for Thursday the 13th. If you got a milestone marker like uh, Cameron and Sajikapi, just post it up right there. You find those in the super chat area. All right. All right. One more Earth Baby. Is that right? Oh, did we get all my Earth Babies? Yep. Okay. New elements. Water and fire. Oh, my steamy babies. My steamers. <laughs> fire and water. Naughty. All right. Let's end it with a bang tonight. All right, fire water, fire water, fire water. Here we go, <laughs> here we go, here we go. Here was that fire. Jillian set the place ablaze right there. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the best for last, huh? My water babies, the best for last, best for last. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go. Water babies. My old earth angel over there. Got my water smite. There they are. There they are. There we are. <laughs> there we go. All right. Hey, Bonnie. Nice to see you tonight. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Oh, I'm fire. Hold on. Jiminy Crickets. Best for last. <laughs> best, best for last. <laughs> Here we go. I got it going on. Fire. There we go. Fire. Okay. Here we go. Fire babies. That's better. That's better. <laughs> Here we go, man. Here we go. All right, my fire babies. Here we go. All right, who is up? Who is up? Sagittarius. My saggy sag. Saggy sag. Bring the fire. Bring the fire. Saggy sag. Hey. All right. Let's do it. Fire babies. All right. All right, Sagittarius. Thank you for your patience, my friends. Let's shuffle them up. Saggy. Saggy. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Sagittarius. Huh? We're looking for love. Love and relationship spreads. Sagittarius. That's what we're looking for around here, love team. Huh? We're looking for a love story from a Saggy Sag. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna just roll here, Lilac. I'm just gonna roll. I feel good. I'm just gonna roll. Sagittarius. 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 Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's do it. Hello, Sagittarius. Rambling Mike here. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time. That I do. Going to do relationship spreads here, as I've always done. Can talk about home, work, family. Can talk about the neighbor. But, you know, I'm focusing on love. And uh, I do have some announcements to make. I will make those announcements at the end of the video. 
Let's play some tarot right off the bat with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I'm going to be freestyling with my fave Tarot Illuminati. I'm going to throw out some Tarot Apocalyptus, and we are going to start right now with love cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Show me a love story for Saggy. Show me a love story for Saggy. First card out, Sagittarius. Give your relationship a chance. Well, do you got something new going on? You got something old going on? Has there been a little shaky, little, little shaking streak going on around here? Pull the card. Give your relationship a chance. Give him a chance, Sagittarius. Uh, give him a chance. <laughs> Here we go, man. Sagittarius, give me a love card. Oh, loving yourself first. Well, <laughs> yeah, that always helps. That always helps in a love story to pour that love cup straight up on top of you. There are some people playing kissy face in that card. Bunch of angels flying around in that picture, too. Love yourself first. Pouring a love cup on Saggy. Let's say give give it give it a shot. Give it a chance. Here we go. Saggy just says, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Just pour that love cup on you right now. And look at this retreat, walking and talking. Look at these two. Look at these two, they're out figuring it out. They're out walking and talking. You know, they're wandering around in their tux and their gorgeous uh, white gown <laughs> in the woods. Um, that's a retreat. A special time. Um, and this one, of course, this card, you know, he's got gray hair. Many of you know how I read it. So there could be an age difference here. There could be a racial difference here as well. You know, always more fun, right? <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, I got some walking and talking, loving yourself first and, and giving this relationship a chance. All that. Let's play some tarot on this Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let's get an overall. An overall for Sagittarius' love story right here. Let's do it. Cards are ready. Saggy Sag. What's going on overall? An ace of swords. That's a card of a new beginning. You know, it's a card of clarity and truth, victory. Um, it's got palm fronds up here. And olive branches for peace. Could be a new start. Communication. Talking. Cutting things out of the out of this that don't belong. Let's see. Ace of Swords. So that can be about a new beginning between some old friends right here. Let's go. Saggy Sag. Who are you thinking about? Who are you thinking about, Saggy? Walking and talking in the woods. Who are you thinking about? Give this, a, give this a chance, it says. You've been loving on yourself for a minute. Who are you thinking about? Their feelings. Their feelings for my Saggy. What's going on? Oh, ten swords. Saggy. Uh, there's a lot of air here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um... Well, this is somebody that may feel that uh, the relationship hit rock bottom. It, the relationship is done. Um, but, you know, uh, this is really the sun in Gemini, and it's a card of hoping that a painful cycle can end with the promise of a new day to dawn. So we got an ace. We got an ace and ten swords. Their feelings. I want one more. Their feelings. 
Sagittarius, who are you thinking about? See, this is giving it another shot. Ten swords. There's been definitely challenging times with you two. Two of ten of pentacles. Sheesh. Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, well, got a lot of tens right here. They definitely want to end the old cycle here, Sagittarius. They want to build with you. Uh, to say the least, right? It's my little white picket fence. Big pink house card. Ten of Pentacles. The loving couple. There's a hair of fan. The baby's the bliss running in the yard. Doggies loyalty. Money in the bank. Oh. Ooh. Uh, definitely been some challenging times. And uh, sad you've been pouring a love cup on yourself. It's a new beginning between you two, isn't it? Their actions. Their actions. Oh, wow. King of Cups came out. Love just showed up. Sad you. Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. King of Cups showed up, the old king of love. Wow. That may be showing you some emotions. Were they holding back their emotions, Saji? Their actions. Seven of Wands came out. Um, it's my hero's card. A lot of times the Seven of Wands came out. It could be somebody that was getting bad advice from other people. They loved you. Uh, they never may. They may never let you really deeply know how how uh, how much they do love you because they, there's ten pins. There's, there's been a problem. Hey, they may have been getting bad advice from other people. You know, it's kind of crazy when people stick their nose into other people's love business. You know. You know, anybody that does that needs to mind their own business and let the two lovers figure it out. Seven of Wands, that's my hero's card. Somebody decided to stand up and do what's best for them and choose the path that they want to go down. They don't give a shit who likes it or who don't like it anymore. It's sad. You. Yeah, Four of Wands has been coming out all night. A lot of 11-11 lot of stories opening up here on my on my board here tonight as my lovers right there. They want to dance around the maypole. Uh, yeah, retreat. Oh, uh, there's a golden coin. Right? That's the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles. That's a solid offer. That's a solid offer. Somebody wants to build here with my Sagittarius. They want to do a little walking, a little talking about long term, if you ask me. They want to build, man. Could be a could be an eleven eleven story, right? The, the the cultural difference, the racial difference, the age difference. Could be it could be an eleven eleven story right here for many of my Sagittarius friends. But whoever you're thinking about, they're going to come in with a golden coin. Uh, they want to end that painful cycle. They want a new day to dawn with you. So it says to me, give me potential outcome right here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I want to see what Sagittarius thinks and feels about this. Let's see what Saggy. Give me some cards about Saggy. What's Saggy thinking and feeling about all this right here? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. <laughs> it's a gold coin. Hey, we'll take a look at your offer. Hey, we'll take a look at your offer. Three wands. Says, you know. Uh, you you might be my ships. You, you might be the one that's supposed to dock up around here. We're going to look at your offer. Because you could very well be the one. Venus showed up. They love here, man. Love and abundance. They could live at a distance from you. Yeah. Sad you said you're going to take a look at an offer. So it says to me, Sad you, let's go. So. Who are you thinking about right here? Hmm? Potential outcome. Potential outcome. A uh, huge transformation card. Death and rebirth. This thing was on Shaken Street, boy. 
maybe even shut down with Ten Swords and uh, the Death card right here. This energy is coming out all night, man. Uh -huh. Death card, death and rebirth. Scorpio energy on that. Saggy. Saggy. Eight Pentacles could be some people putting the elbow grease in around here, you know, because relationships, I mean, they take hard work. They ain't that a beautiful picture, but they take hard work. Death and rebirth and the potential of people putting elbow grease in a, a relationship right here. Potential outcome. Saggy and their friend. <laughs> Freaking eight swords. Oh, it's somebody making a jailbreak. Somebody making a jailbreak of the mind. Chariot, cancer energy. Somebody's coming charging in around here with this story to make a solid, solid offer. Knight of Pentacles. Give me a couple of Terrapocalyptus on this. A lot of energy right here, man. Give me a card. Saggy. Oh, wow. This card's been making this round. Justice showed up. That's the potential for balance here. Powerful stuff, man. Sagittarius. Again, this could be a twin flame read. Wow. Let's go. Justice, <laughs> justice, <laughs> and the old emperor right there. Let's see, let's see, seated in your power. I wonder if that's your energy right there, Saggy. <laughs> Damn it, got, got the spear up. What you talking about? No, no, really, we, we can make this work. All right, give me a card. And, and that is the emperor, and he does talk about stability. Huh? Give me one more. Oh my God! Yeah, you two been at war with each other. That's <laughs> or something. So I read this right. Strength. Look at this. <laughs> and, and the emperor. And we got we got justice in between them. Okay. <laughs> we got an angel up there. Now put your weapons down. Put your weapons down. Let's have some peace talks around here. I love you, Saggy. Hope you enjoyed this read. If you did, give me a like. Appreciate that. And uh, if you got an idea for a title, you can leave that in the comments as well, uh, Saggy. And uh, just a few short days to my meet and greet coming up. I got a meet and greet coming up. Uh, the 23rd of, of July, beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. I rented the uh, community center. Nothing fancy, but definitely going to be very special. It's going to be free. Um, I went to Publix, ordered a bunch of food. But if you got a little, you know, something, you know, some, some banana pudding or, you know, some angel eggs or uh, a macaroni, something that you would... Put on the table. You're more than welcome to bring that. Bring your beach gear. Right, the beach is just right over the dune, right there. Bring your tarot cards. We're gonna be there all day playing cards. I'm gonna be playing cards. Yeah, I got I got a DJ coming in six to ten. Dance the night away. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's all free. Road trip time, huh, Saggy? Looking forward to meeting many of you. July 23rd. Love and light, Saggy. Bye for now. All right. Little bit. Little bit. How are you tonight? Nice to see you. Hi, Kim. Yeah, angel eggs. Angel eggs. You know, I'm tired of giving the devil all the glory. Those, those are yummy. Those are angel eggs around here, man. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, man. I, I don't like calling chocolate cake devil food. That's too good for the devil, man. No, that ain't devil food. Yeah, I just call that chocolate cake, okay, myself. <laughs> chocolate cake and angel eggs, baby. Bring some of that to the meet and greet if you want. It'll get gobbled up, I'm sure. 
All right, let's go. Let's go. Aries, my Aries babies. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Thanks a little bit. I feel good tonight. Hope you hope everybody feels good tonight. Thank you for sharing your energy with us. While we read tarot. Aries. Aries, babies. Oh, who is that right there? Linda. Thank you, Linda. Let me put you on my list right here for Thursday night, the 13th. Is that, I got to check and see if Linda. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Linda. Appreciate you very, very much. I got you here for Thursday, the 13th, Linda. You know how to do it. It'll be. 6.30 Eastern. Starts at 6.30 and all that. You know how to do it. Let me know when you're in the house. Thank you, Linda, one more time. Blessing me. Appreciate you so very, very much. Thank you for everything you do around here, Linda. Love and light. No need. <laughs> I'll pull some cards for you, my Aquarius friend. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bumblebee. Let's rock and roll, my Aries friend. Hey, Deanna. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Hey. Cindy Lou, Cynthia, hello, my friend. Nice to see you tonight. Oh, that's cool, Bumblebee. I know you're buzzing around here somewhere. Oh, <laughs> we need some new love. We need some new love for Amy's, Amy's kin. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bumblebee always buzzing around here somewhere. Yeah. All right. Let's rock and roll, my lovelies. Airy style. Airy style, love team. What you got for Aries? What you got for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Aries, babies. Third time's a charm. We're going to rock and roll, Aries style. Let's do it. Aries. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Hello, Aries. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time, Aries. Appreciate your time and your views that I do. That's why I'm going to jump right into the readings right here. Uh, we are doing relationship spreads, you know, homework, family, maybe the neighbor. But I'm focusing on love. I'm looking for a love relationship, but you may get a different story out of it. I do have some announcements to make. I will make those at the end of the video. All that being said, I'm playing with my Tara Illuminati. My Tarot Apocalyptus and the Love Cards. Let's go. Love Story for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Oh, 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 hold on here. Oh, what is going on around here, man? The first card that came out was a free yourself. That's a nice energy right there. Just simply says it's time for you to take back control of your life. Perfect. Then I got this card that jumped out. There's three of them that jumped out right there. You saw. And this one says staying optimistic about your love life. 
positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance. And then I got p -p 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 passion. <laughs> What's going on around here is Lordy, freeing yourself from whatever, whoever, staying optimistic about your love life, taking back control of your life, maybe taking back control of your love life, staying optimistic about your love life. And then we got passion over here, man. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Many of you may have let a situation go, right? We got the free yourself card and staying optimistic, you know. And then, bam, we got some playfulness and we got some passion over here. Ooh, I hope this is already showed up here for you. Oh, look into my eyes, Aries. Give me a big old kiss. <laughs> ooh, ooh, all right, all right. And playfulness. Nice, Aries. Okay, let's play some tarot on this, Aries. Let's play some tarot. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say for Aries. Sun, moon, rising Venus. Aries, Aries. Let's go ahead and cut this deck. And overall, 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 Aries. Let's do it. It's tarot time, baby. Feel good with these cards right here. Passion and playfulness. Yeah. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles came out. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Queen of Pentacles energy, you know. That's like the catch right there. They probably got some earth in their chart. That's the old Queen of Pentacles. I mean, this is somebody that knows how to, male or female. Somebody knows how to make money. <laughs> somebody that's magical. Uh, they are the catch. <laughs> Stay that came on. Stay optimistic. Whatever you freed yourself from, that's good because <laughs> we got you staying optimistic about your love life and earth energy showing up around here. Aries, you know, the one that might cause the catch, male or female, they're right there. Man, <laughs> all right, that's the overall. This is the catch. Let's see what's going on. All right, who are you thinking about, Aries? Who are you thinking about? You know, Queen of Pentacles energy. Their feelings, their feelings, their feelings. Here we go. <laughs> what is going on around here? Nine swords. Um, could be somebody that doesn't sleep well. I wonder what they're all upset about. It's this, it's this catch. They they don't sleep well at night. They don't sleep well. What's going on with them right there? I want to dig in right here. Why 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 are they not sleeping well? Um, because they've been holding back. <laughs> they've been holding back from you. Yeah, they're not sleeping well. Well, hopefully they're coming into some clarity right here, huh, Aries? Yeah, four pinnacles. They've been holding on to you with the heart chakra. This is a little stubborn. This is a little... Aries, you, Aries, you got a stubborn one right here? All right. All right. Did you back away from them? You may have backed away from them to free yourself right here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Their intentions. Their intentions. Yeah, this is somebody that was holding a holding a love back. Couldn't sleep at all last night. Do 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 do. Give me a card right here. Their intentions while they up all night. Oh, to get up off that old throne. <laughs> thinking about you all day and all night. Their intentions are to get up off of that throne and go get their Aries. 
<laughs> Let's go, man. Their actions. What's going on around here? Their actions. The emperor came out. Ares seated in their power. I swear it's to go get Ares. To build. Oh, that's a card of stability, too, right? It's a four. It's a major arcana. Oh, look, I swear, man, this is an Aries that, uh, well, you detached a little bit right here. You detached. You freed yourself to some degree and caused them to get in some kind of tailspin over here because they realized they were holding back. Look at them sitting there on their throne, male or female, thinking about Aries all day who turned they're back, you know. They got the armor on, been in the battle, but no longer in the battle. Oh my God, what's this Aries? Well, you got other options too. Look at him. Like, oh my God, where are they going? <laughs> Staying optimistic about your love life. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I bet they come in here like the wind, man. We got passion and playfulness right here because it looks like Aries is be like, oh. You don't want to play, right? Okay, well, hasta la vista. <laughs> here we go, man. What's going on around here? Let's go. More of their actions. Their actions. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got the king and the queen of pentacles that came out. So these two, you know, they have a long-term committed relationship. Hasn't happened yet. It's uh, the King and the Queen of Pentacles has showed up. Um, this is definitely Aries uh, for a cup. And you <laughs> sitting here looking at love. It's a golden cup. Sitting at the park, thinking about this, reevaluating it. Somebody's going to bust a move right here. Because I'm just going to go ahead and jump to the end game. Let's see. What's Aries thinking, feeling about this friend of theirs? The one that has the potential to be the king and the queen of pentacles story right here. Huh? It's Aries thinking feel about them. Oh, well, you you think that they're they're the ships? Um, maybe a distance and all that as well. Feel like, well, these are my ships. If they dock up, you know, three wands. Here we go, man. Uh, Aries. <laughs> How's Aries think of feeling about the star? Star Aries. It's about, you know, dreams coming true and <laughs> healing, healing, hope, and dreams <laughs> coming true around here. All right. All right. I see these two lovers figuring it out. Again, we got passion and we got playfulness at the end of this love story right here. I'm telling you, I'm going to look at potential outcome, but I got the king and the queen of pentacles that came out on this spread, right? I got Aries reevaluating. I got both of these two reevaluating, but it looks like the ships are on the way to dock up over here and, you know, happiness and joy and bliss and healing with that star energy. So let's pull a couple out here on potential outcome. For you too, I already see it. The star and the king and the queen of the pentacles is the potential outcome. What's the tarot say? Two of pentacles is the dance of change. That's the dance of change for me. It's got an infinity symbol. That's how I read my cards. The dance of change is happening between Aries and their friend. And a card right here, potential outcome. What do we got? Six of Cups, you guys are past life lovers, all that kind of fun stuff. 
Sweet thoughts and nostalgia. Time's good. Things sweet. You guys have played with each other many lifetimes. Dance of change to six cops. Cupid's arrows of love. Eight ones. Rapid communication. Cupid's arrows of love flying around here. Her, her Aries. All right. Hey. It tells me that you two are off again, off again to the races. I, I wish you two the best. I see potential outcome. It's right here. It's right here. The ship's coming in. Healing. Dreams coming true. Give me a, give me a major arcana on here for Aries. <laughs> here we go. Here, major uh, right here for Aries. Judgment. It's Phoenix from its ashes. Scorpio energy. I can see it's been rough. Look at the, the, the sea, the deluge. The There's my lovers is washing up on the show. Oh, Lordy, this is love. Oh, God, help us all. <laughs> there they go. They're climbing up the hill together. Did they get back up here to the glory? All right, this is Phoenix from its ashes. It's judgment. It's Gabriel blowing the horn. Give me one more for Aries. 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 And temperance is here. Michael, the archangel, the great alchemist, is blending, blending this story. Give me one more for Aries right here. This is unfolding. Oh my God, the hair fan came out. <laughs> homne, homne, homne. <laughs> yeah, there's a union on this spread. If you ask me, let it unfold. Go with the flow. If you resonate with this, you two are probably going to end up in a long term committed relationship. Enjoy the journey. I'll talk with you in a couple days, Aries. Hey, if you enjoyed this reading, hit that like button for me. And uh, if you if you got an idea for a title, leave that in the comment for me, Aries. I'd appreciate it. I'll put that up on the top of the, uh, the Aries read right here. And I do want to invite you before I go, Aries, to a meet and greet. Sunday, July 23rd, I rented the community center in beautiful Palm Coast. It's nothing fancy, but it's absolutely going to be special. It's got the beach right over the dunes right there. You can walk down to it if you want. So bring your beach gear. It's free. I got a bunch of goodies from Publix. If you want to bring some goodies yourself, you know, like, a, I don't know, Nana Pudding. Or angel eggs, or you know, macaroni. If you got something like that, you can bring that if you want. BYOB, bring your own party favors. We're going to be there from 12 noon till 10 p.m. I got a DJ coming in. Bring your tarot deck, play some tarot with your friends. I'm going to be playing tarot with my friends. It's all free. Just want to invite you one more time. Time to get ready to, you know, road trip. Love you, Aries. Talk to you in a couple days. Bye for now. Hey, Tilly. Nice to see you tonight. Leo babies. Leo babies. Let's see what's going on with my lions. My lions. My lions, sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Leo, shaking them up for Leo. Leo, love team. Leo, babies. Leo, babies.
Let's do it. Let's do it, Leo style. Hello, Leo. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time, Leo. Appreciate your time. That I do. And uh, I'm going to jump right into the tarot reading. We're doing a love reading for you. I will have some announcements at the end of the video. If you want to hear what I'm going to chat about, stick around. We're going to uh, relationship spreads. I can talk about homework, family, the neighbor, your lover. And that's what the one I'm going to be focused on. But you may get a different story out of these spreads right here. Uh, playing with the Terra Illuminati, freestyling, playing with the Terra Apocalyptus. Freestyling and freestyling with the love cards. All that being said, Leo, babies. Leo, give me a love story for Leo. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Leo, first card out. Red flags. This is the first card out, so this may be in the past. For many of my Leos, spotted the old red flagger. There's been some flags on the play. <laughs> Tilly. All right, Tilly, I will get with you in a minute. Remind me at the end of this. I got you right there. I see you. All right. I want to focus on Leo right here. Red flags. Did you see a bunch of red flags? What's that about, man? Time to uh, disconnect, huh? Anyway, very interesting. Give me a card right here, Leo. Oh, flirting. <laughs> We're done with the red flag story. Have this resonating with, you know, not for every Leo on the planet, but... Uh, there was red flags. There was red flags on the play. You know, and then we got the flirt. <laughs> we got the flirt card. Extend your light, heart, and energy to somebody new. Eight billion people on the planet. You know what I'm talking about, Leo. <laughs> and this is a Leo that well, probably fired somebody with red flags right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Flirt came out, Leo. Flirt came out. You know how to do that, right? Perfect. Let's see where we're going right here. Leo babies. Leo babies. <laughs> okay. Oh, and separation came. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Red flags. Separation. Flirt. I need more cards here, don't I? Oh, passion. Ooh. Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, <laughs> here we go, here we go, all right, all right, a little something, a little something for Leo, please, here we go, a true love came out, Leo, get out there flirting, <laughs> Leo, get out there flirting, man, something about the, uh, this is the romance of a lifetime, have you met somebody new? Hope so, because <laughs> you're all done with this energy right here. All done with this energy. Huh? Yeah, no, no flags on the play. We got flirting. The true love. Let's pull out another card, man. That's just. That's sweet. It's, it's a soulmate. Soulmate card came out. True love, flirting. Eyes wide open. Who are you flirting with, man? Who are you flirting with? Give me one more. Calling in your soulmate. This is Leo. Leo. And safe place to love, too. Okay. Well, let's play some tarot on this. I don't even want to look at the past, the red flags, and separation. Dun, 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 <laughs> flirt, <laughs> soulmate, 
True love calling in your soulmate. Safe place to love. Well, ain't that contrast? I told you it's our friend. It, it shows us what we don't want so we can set our intentions huh? and not put any more energy into what we don't want. Set our intentions, flirt right here, and manifest what we do want. Let's go. Let's go. Overall, Leo, love story right here. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got a new energy right here for many of my Leos. Let's see. Overall, Leo's love story. What's going on? Oh, eight of swords, jailbreak. Jailbreak of the mind. Because Leo, Leo, you know, they're, they're fixed as well. I'm an Aquarian. We're fixed. And when we give our heart to somebody, geez, that takes a minute. This is a jailbreak in the mind, you know. Eight swords. Yeah. Oh, for Leo. Leo getting free. Leo, I'm reading for. No strength card. Strength. Strength, Leo. You can do it. You can break the chains that bind, Leo. <laughs> hey. Hey. Breaking the chains that bind. We got some air over there. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh huh. Oh, there's a king right there, too. King of air. All right. All right. Leo. Leo. Oh. <laughs> Hold it. Your cards are crazy good, man. See? There's a lot of my Leos that might be what you consider single right now. Nine of Pentacles, because somebody got f -f 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 fired. <laughs> yeah. And I got my Nine of Pentacles, my independent, self assured, confident business person right here. Uh, I'm not really interested in anybody unless they come in with that golden 10th Pentacle, you know. Yeah. Jailbreak, man. Uh, but look what showed up under here as well. Hmm? What is this about, man? Four Wands. The four wander story, true love, four wands, you know, let's build a new world. And uh, there's a hair plant. Um, huh. Well, some of you may know who this is. Some of you may be going back home. Oh, don't say it, Mike. It's right here. It's right here, man. Some of you could be going back to somebody you were married to. If not, then this is the potential to actually meet somebody and have a long-term committed relationship right here. It's beautiful. True love, calling your soulmate, soulmate showing up. Four one. So I don't even want to read on this past energy because it, it showed me that it took took the power of the gods for my Leo to release themselves from this energy right here, red flag separation. And uh, many of you may be just single right now, flirting. But this could be like, you know, I mean, it's four of wands and the hair fence. So this is either somebody that could go long-term with or it's a return to somebody that you had a long-term committed relationship with. All right, let's go. So I want to look at this energy right over here. What is this person right here thinking and feeling about my Leo? I don't care about the past. I don't even want to look at it right now. What's this one right here? The true love. What's that? What are they thinking and feeling about my Leo? Give me a card. Thank you. Ooh, they... <laughs> Leo, they think you're the fire pony. Yeah, they think you're good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with, but Lordy, no roots. So you may very well know who this is, right? <laughs> yeah. They think you're a fire pony. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go. Let's go. I like fire ponies, you know, because <laughs> they are fun to play with. All right, here we go. Leo, baby. Leo, baby. Huh? Their intentions. This this energy right here, the one with the 
four wands and the hair fan, soulmates all over it. True love, you know, flirting. What are they thinking about, Leo? What are their intentions? Let's go with that one. Their intentions. Oh, to, uh, they want to talk. They want to talk to their little fire pony. <laughs> they want to talk and well, maybe something else too. A lot of fire here. A lot of fire. Feels good to talk. Feels good to talk. Feels good. A lot of passion here. A lot of fire, Leo, huh? Ooh. All right. Their actions. What's going on around here? Let's see some action. Damn, Leo. They want to dance around the maypoles, man. Ten cups. Oh, once upon a time, there was me and Leo. And we lived happily ever after. Ah, it's got a lot of return energy here for somebody. Here we go, man. Here we go. What's Leo think and feel about this? <laughs> Flirt, true love, safe place, soulmate. <laughs> What's Leo think and feel about this? Four wands, hair fan energy over here. Huh? Oh, king of love. Leo, it says you love this person already. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, you might want to tell them about it. <laughs> King of love, they, you know they hold their they hold their little, little love cup back a little bit, Leo. All right, all right, good love here, Leo. What do you think and feel about this person? They may have water in their chart. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, right? Leo, why did I pull two swords out right there? Oh, eight swords is up here. Oh, Leo, you're torn here a little bit, aren't you? Torn here a little bit. I love you. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Two threes. Should have rebuilt. Should have rebuilt. I swear this is like um, an old marriage or something. Huh? Should we rebuild? Should we end this old cycle? Let's start a new cycle. I don't know, man. Stars here. Oh, my God. Ten Pinnacles is here. Hey, am I getting, like, potential outcome cards on this already? It's a world card about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. A star is healing over here. Ten Pinnacles. See, this is a... This is, you know, this shows me, of course, it's not for everybody, but this was a, a relationship at one time. And uh, I don't know, it's nice cards on it. So let's pull out a couple potential. Uh, I, I like the potential of the world to the star to the 10 pins because I'm always looking for love. All right. If you're looking for love, grab the one that loves you. Right? It's just that simple, man. All right, potential outcome with Leo and well, see, their friend right here. You know who this is if you're still here. Six Swords is coming out of choppy waters, man. Letting the past go. Making a jailbreak. Learning life lessons. Uh, the uh, temperance showed up. Michael, that's a reconciliation energy. It's also about, well, let, let's just take a good long look and uh, see if this can unfold. I got Michael, the blessing of Michael's here. Ten wands is putting, ending a burdensome cycle and the potential of an ace of wands to come in here for my Leos. Give me one more. Leo, potential outcome. It really says you're going to let it unfold and just take a look right here, not putting any pressure on it. And uh, Queen of Pentacles came out. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy on that. Um, you know, that's the one that uh, lives in the... Uh, see, this is like some people that were like in a committed relationship. I don't know. Something fell apart over there, man. I don't know what that's about. It's definitely in the past. 
I see great potential for you and your friend to, you know, dare I say, put this together again. Let's see. Give me a major here for my Leos. And I'll pull some cards for you in a couple of days, but they're really positive over here, right? The true love, the soulmates, the calling you a soulmate. What's that? Three wands, the ship's coming in. It's fun, man. The cards fly out. Three wands, ships coming in. Do they live at a distance from you, Leo? They may. The ships are coming in here, man. Hangman, Pisces energy. It's a card about getting a new perspective, right? Shows the American Indian getting the vision. It's Hangman in this deck. It's about a new perspective and looking at life and relationships in a new way. Leo. <laughs> this card's been coming out all night, man. My lover's right there. This is the world card. It's about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Definitely an old cycle ending here with whatever the red flags were. And uh, a new cycle beginning. Here could be an old cycle has ended, a new cycle has begun too. It's a beautiful, beautiful lover. I mean, it looks like the lovers, right? Anyway, old cycles have ended and new cycles have begun in my Leo's love journey. Hey, Leo, if you liked that video and you made it this far, hit that like button for me. And I appreciate you watching the video this long. Thank you very much. Also, Leo, if um, if you would like, and you got a you got a title in mind uh, for this video, um, throw it in the comments. Thank you very much. And before you go, Leo, I do want to invite you to a meet and greet. It's July twenty third. We're almost there. It's time to plan your road trip. It's in beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. I rented the community center. Um, the address is in the description area. We're going to be there from noon on the 23rd till 10 o'clock at night. The beach is right over the dune right there. Uh, so bring your beach gear if you want to hang at the beach. I got a bunch of food from Publix. Uh, but if you'd like to bring a little something, you know, your 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 Nana pudding or your, or your tater, tater salad, some angel eggs, right? If you want to bring a little something like that, bring it. Bring your tarot cards. I'm going to be playing tarot. You'll be playing tarot. we got DJ coming in, 6 to 10. Dance the night away. BYOB. Just come. It's free. We're going to have a fun. It's going to be, I guarantee you, it's going to be full of fun friends. Looking forward to it, Leo. Hope I see you on the 23rd of July. Bye for now, Leo. Let's go. My air babies. Is that who? Oh, water. Water. Water babies. Is that on my fire? Did I get on my fire? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh, shit. Hello, my friend. Hello, hello, hello. I got a spot for you. Thursday night, Ocean Ness. Oh, 11 months. Thank you, my friend. Ocean Ness. I'm going to pull some cards for you. Thursday the 13th. It's a nighttime read, 6.30 Eastern anyway. Set your calendar, Ocean Ness. Looking forward to reading for you, my friend. Nice to see you again tonight. Almost a year, huh? Doesn't seem like that. Doesn't seem like that. Hey, Rhonda, nice to see you tonight. <laughs> All right, let's go. 
My water babies, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Water babies is your love cup right there, my friends. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, Tilly. Tilly said that you're having problems with your, your banner. I haven't read for you in a while, Tilly. So I'm going to put you down here Thursday the 13th. I don't know why. You said that you tried to put your banner up tonight. Anyway, I got you right here, Tilly. For Thursday the 13th, We'll start at 6.30. I still got three spots for Thursday night. Thursday the 13th. Oh. Atlantean Angel, hello, my friend. Okay, kid, I got you. I got you. Ain't no telling what's going on around here with all this. So I try and work with everybody. It's just it just helps me to get the uh, you know the banner. Atlantean Angel, thirteen months. You done busted that year. Thank you, my friend. I got you for Thursday the 13th, so mark your calendar, Atlantean Angel. Looking forward to reading for you. Thank you for 13 months of membership, my friend. We'll start at 6.30. That's a nighttime show. You know all that. Let's go, man. Let's get some water, baby. Let's get some water out here. Let's get some love going on around here. Water style. Water style. Water love stories. Best for last. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Thank you, Lantern Angel. All right, let's do it. Tarot time. Water babies. Here we go. Here we go. Pisces. With your big, Billy, badass fish right there. Ain't no little fishies in that pond. <laughs> Load it. Don't, don't cast. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. I love you too. Appreciate you very much. Appreciate all my members. Thank you for your blessings, my friend. All right. Another great day. I love that, Amy. Yeah, another great day. All right. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Shuffle them up here. Shake this energy up for Pisces. Pisces, babies. Two, one more. We're going to play some tarot. For Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. There we go. Pisces, let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Pisces, babies. That's a hermit. It's a Virgo card. Let's go. Hello, Pisces. 
Rambling Mike here, going to play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time, my friends. Appreciate you clicking that button right there. And uh, I'm doing things a little differently. I'm going to get right into your tarot spread here today. I do have some announcements. I'll share them at the end if you're interested. Stick around. Appreciate it. I am doing relationship spreads here. They can talk about home, work, family, the neighbor, but I'm I'm looking at the lover. But you may get a different relationship story out of this. I am playing with uh, the Terra Illuminati. We're going to freestyle with that. We're going to freestyle with the Terra Apocalyptus majors, and we're starting off with some love cards for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Give me a love story for Pisces. What? Retreat. I like this card. A little walking, a little talking. It says it's time for you to disconnect from the world. A little retreat, a little walking, a little talking. Uh, you know, they're out there in the woods with the old tuxedo and the wedding dress. And uh, I always see an age difference with this. I see a, a cultural difference, a racial difference. They're all with this card, if you ask me. Pisces, a little, a little time. Disconnected from the world. Looks like maybe with a friend. What? What? Oh, what's this? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want. Oh, no, choices. <laughs> choices. <laughs> Disconnecting from the world. Clearly decide what you want. Well, what's going on around here? You got some walking and talking, and then it talks about clearly decide. Oh, new love. Oh, we got a new love card showed up around here. And... uh I don't know. <laughs> What's that? Um, retreat. That changed the, that changed that meaning up there, didn't it? I wonder if this is uh, somebody trying to. Oh my God! Is this free yourself? <laughs> Are you freeing yourself from somebody or something over here? We got new love showing up. Oh my God! Divine timing. Don't put that. Excuse me. We'll put that with the new love right there. And Pisces, it looks like you got some heart-to-heart uh, -heart conversations coming up around here with some people. Huh? You may be just freeing yourself. We got free yourself. Retreat. Very soon, clearly decide what you want. New love. Worth waiting for. And heart-to-heart -heart conversations. <laughs> Okay, Pisces is going to be doing some walking and some talking around here. Let's go. Let's play tarot. Interesting love cards. Mike always roots for new love, you know. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, ten pinnacles. I was going to pull, you know, an overall. Well, I got a jumper. I got a ten pinnacles on top of this, Pisces. That's the quintessential universal dream. The little white picket fence. Big pink house. Money in the bank. Power couple. Loyalty. Loyalty. That's a great energy right there on the love read. That's what we want. Pisces is going to be figuring it out right here. Clearly decide what you want. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Looks like you're going to free yourself from an energy if you already haven't. Looks like you're going to. Definitely leaning towards a new love energy when I say that. The sun. The sun showed up when I'll be talking about this new love. Worth waiting for. Divine timing. Let's put the sun right on that. It did show up when I was talking. That's always fun. So let's look at the new love right here because we got, you know, clearly decide what you want. 
I always root for new love. Let's see what the new friend thinks and feels about Pisces. Now, new can be up to six months. That's a new love. What are you thinking and feeling about Pisces? Here we go. Five swords. Five swords and seven swords on the bottom. Well, I mean, this new friend may may know that you need to, well, need to uh, free yourself. And you may be walking and talking, talking with them about it. Um, five swords and seven swords is, you know, uh, standing up and doing what's best for you. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, free yourself. Seven swords, five swords. That's interesting about what your new friend, that's what I was looking at, the new friend, what they're thinking about you. It says they think that you need to set yourself free. <laughs> that's what it says right here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Or that you're coming out of a very challenging cycle. Ride five swords is that card of Pisces standing up and doing what's best for you. Leaving a leaving a seven of swords situation behind, right? That's a liar and a cheater and all. Back to this new lover right here. <clears throat> what are they thinking and feeling about Pisces? Well, I got a magician. That's Gemini, Virgo. This is somebody that wants to manifest this with you. This new person. This new person wants to manifest Ten of Pentacles with you, Pisces. As above, so below. They could feel that you're a strong soulmate. They want you to free yourself from this energy over here. They have lots of conversations. What do we got? Nine swords. Sleepless nights. Hmm. Oh, man. I don't know. This person, ten swords. Pisces, um, this person, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, this is like lots of betrayal energy. It's not coming from this new person, but they seem to know about uh, a lot of air over here, Pisces. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They can either sense or feel that you are clearing energy, retreating, uh, disconnecting from the world, freeing yourself. From some kind of very toxic energy over here. I do not believe it's them. They want to manifest Ten of Pentacles with you. But there's some healing over here, isn't there? Yeah, healing. Let's go. Pisces' new friend, the magician. Their intentions. Hmm. Oh, 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 Pisces, these cards told me that <laughs> there's a lot of competition for you at this particular point in time. See, I got seven of cups and five wands, which tells me that your new friend, <laughs> that they want to fight to win. They want to fight to win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they want to they wanna help you. Get free from whatever this is over here, man. They want to help. They want to fight to win for Pisces. I like that, man. I like that. Give me a card right here. Their actions. Their actions. Here we go, man. Here we go. Pisces. Pisces. Their actions. <laughs> oh. Um. I think your new friend's got a little. They they really uh they really love you. They do, man. I swear they feel you just I don't know. When did I say their actions? I don't know, to help you leave the river of tears. You know? Are you kind of standoffish to them? 
the old wounded warrior. The wounded warrior. They feel your energy, man. Something's going on here with your new friend. They want to fight to win, man. They want 10 pins with you, man. They see you as a son. <laughs> and they are head over heels in love with you. There's a queen of love right there, Pisces. They, this is your card, male or female, too, right? It's, it's queen of love. Yeah, they want to build with you. They're loving on you. They're uh, giving you, giving you what you call, giving you space to heal. That's what I'm picking up, man. I like it. I think there's great potential. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, what's Pisces? That's where I want to go. What's Pisces thinking and feel about this friend right here, this magician? It's willing to fight. Willing to fight the good fight. You know what a good fight is? A good fight is the one that you win. They want to win Pisces, man. They, they, giving you room to heal is what it says to me. All right, what's Pisces thinking, feeling about their new friend, this new love that's on here? The one that says divine timing and all that. <laughs> oh, man, so good, man. What's Pisces thinking about? Eight cups to nine cups. So this is about letting this energy go. Right? Eight cups, walking away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. You are healing. And heading out to go get your ninth cup. Let's put eight cups on that. Let's put nine cups over here. I like it, man. You know, that's the genie bottle, right? Somebody's going to get a wish, Pisces. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah. Chariot. Chariot. That's a card of victory and forward movement. All right. Let's go, man. Give me potential outcome with Pisces and their new friend. Seems to be maybe helping my Pisces heal. They're giving you space, man. May not seem like it. Oh, look, man. The Wheel of Fortune. For a potential outcome, oh my God, a new start, the golden coin too. The golden coin, see strength, I like your friend. Big Leo, Big Leo showed up. Well, I mean, the wheel spins and a, and a new coin shows up here for Pisces. And strength from the gods and healing. I like it. I like your new love story. I like it, Pisces. This person's giving you room, man. Oh, and the king of pins. You guys could end up in a long-term committed relationship. That's what it's talking about. See the love. It's so nice. This is so nice, man. Really love this energy about your friend. Your new friend. They allowing it to unfold. They see the potential of the sun. They probably feel the potential of the wheel of fortune, right? That's a that's a little destiny gig. Yeah, great potential here, guys. Queen of Love, Ten of Pentacles, Palace. Give me a uh, couple of majors right here for Pisces. Thank you. Pisces, what oh, the devil? This is about an ugly devil card, ain't it? The devil, that's about breaking the chains of bind. Wow, tower. This is the ending to this energy, whatever this is over here. Tower and the Whirly Durbin, about a fresh start and a new beginning. For Pisces. Love and light, Pisces. I loved your cards right here. I love your energy, your new friend. Enjoy the journey. Hey, if you enjoyed this spread, give me a like while you're thinking about it. Thanks for rocking all the way to the end of the video with me. If you got an idea for a title, 
for this uh, reading, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Appreciate it. You may very well see it as the title on this video. And Pisces, before I go, I got a meet and greet coming up. I want to invite you one more time. It is in beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. It's going to be July 23rd um, we're at the community center. Uh, the, the official address of the community center is in the description. Um, it's got the beach, right? The Atlantic Ocean in Florida, just over the dune right there. So if you're coming, bring your bring your uh, your beach attire. You may want to go over to the beach and hang for a while. We're going to be there from 12 noon till 10 p.m. Bring the DJ in 6 to 10, dance the night away. Bring in a bunch of food from Publix. If you want to bring a little something, if you're planning on coming, uh, you know, like your like your nana pudding, you know, or your or your uh, tater salad, or some angel eggs, something like that. If you want to bring some, bring it, bring it, bring it. Um, Byob as well. Bring your own party favors. Bring your tarot deck. I'm gonna bring my tarot deck. We definitely be playing tarot. Nothing fancy, but gonna be completely special. Hope to see you, Pisces. Twenty third of July. It's free. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Northern Lightseer. Hello, my friend. Nice to see you tonight. Yeah. Angel eggs. Yeah. I don't need no devil food. I eat angel food. <laughs> hey, Jill. Nice to see you. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Shannon Roberts. Hello, my friend. Man, I think this might just about wrap up the 13th, huh? Let's see. I'll count them right after this. But thanks for putting up your banner during my break. Seven months. Thank you, Shannon. Shannon, this is Thursday the 13th. And it'll be a nighttime read. Set your calendar. It's a week from tomorrow. So set your calendar, Shannon, and um, I will see you. Let me know on the 13th. Let me know. You know how to do it. Looking forward to it. Thank you for seven months of membership. All right. Let's rock and roll around here, huh? Who we got? Kansas Scorpio. Ooh. 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 I don't like reading for both of these zodiacs. <laughs> Here we go, man. Who is it? Cancer. Scorpio. Who is it? Cancer. Scorpio, best for last. Best for last. Cancer, babies. What's going on around here? Oh, let me see if Thursday's closed. One more spot. One more spot for Thursday the 13th. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's pull some cards from my cancer babies. Cancer. My lovely Kansas. Let's do it. Cancer babies. Cancer babies. All right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, that's right. It's Kansas' birthday, huh? Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. All right, all right, all right. That's rock and roll. Kansas style. Hello, Cancer. 
Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you one more time. Thanks for tuning in again. Appreciate you, Cancer. You know, first things first, huh? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cancer. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Cancer. I'm going to do a relationship spread for you today. Hmm? Can talk about home, work, family, the neighbor. But I'm pulling cards, hopefully, for a lover. But you may get a different story out of it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to jump right into my readings today. I do have some things to say. Announcements. That'll be at the end of the video. All that being said, let's play some tarot. I'm going to play with my tarot Illuminati. I'm going to freestyle with it. We're looking for love. I'm also going to play with my tarot Apocalyptus. And we're starting with some love cards. That being said, let's rock and roll. Cancer babies. Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Love story for cancer. Cancer. Here we go. First card out, cancer. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive. <laughs> ro ro. What they do? <laughs> what they do? Cancer got a forgiveness card. The first one that came out. You can do it, even if you don't want to fix it with them. You need to get all that unforgiveness out of our hearts. You can do it. Your love life benefits as you forgive. That's a shadow work card as well. All right, we got a healing card on this. Healing family issues for some of you. Love life benefits as you forgive. Oh, Lordy, has it come to that, Mike? Cancer. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> How much money are you giving to this lover over here? <laughs> are they breaking the bank? Oh, Lordy. Oh, okay. Cancer, happy birthday to you. Go buy yourself a gift. Cancer. It's at work. New love. New love. And uh, something about clearly decide what you want. Wow. We got new love energy on here. Maybe an old love energy right here too, huh? Because we got to clearly decide what you want. You'd definitely be focused on your coin right now, aren't you? You might be focused on your coin more than love. Got some healing family issues. Forgiveness. New love. <laughs> oh, my God. A lot of talking. A lot of talking coming in here. Honestly, discuss. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Uh, <laughs> I got a reconciliation energy. And I got a new love energy going on right here, Cancer. <laughs> And I got you just focus on your coins right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, cancer. <laughs> cancer just be. I need I need to just go to work, man. <laughs> got a reconciliation energy. Got a new love energy going on around here. Cancer. Clearly decide what you want. <laughs> You're gonna be figuring it out right here. Hard to hard conversations. You know, take a day off. <laughs> no way, Mike. No, we we we're focusing on the coins over here, baby. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's play some tarot on this. Got some got some choices to be made around here, Lucy. Got some choices to be made. <laughs> here we go, man. Here we go.
<laughs> Thank you, Ifer. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Cancer. Let's freestyle with the Terra Illuminati. Let's get an overall right here because there may be an attempted return. Definitely retrograde energy in the air with the readings tonight. And got a new love. New love can be something that's gone on for six months. So let's get an overall. I just saw, you know, you know what I just saw, don't you, Cancer? I just saw justice. You know, that's that Libra energy. Oh, I say that Libra energy. Well, it's showed up in your readings forever and a day. Justice. Oh, Lodi, who is this? Oh, my God, Cancer. I mean, I'm just freestyling. I was going to go for an overall, but it's telling the story. Justice. This is somebody who wants to balance something out with you. Could be from the past. The reconciliation. Justice, right? Nine swords. The wouldas, the couldas, the shouldas, the sleepless nights. Oh, my God. How I betrayed the true love of my life. Cancer. Two cups. I don't know how they're gonna fix that. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a betrayal of a soulmate right here. This is judgment. The Scorpio Major Arcana, Gabriel blowing the horn. They want the lovers to come up. All they can think about is ten cups, ten cups and ten swords. So that is definitely a past energy. Let's see about this new love, since I were just playing a little bit different right here. Got a new love. Got some heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You got somebody kind of come in here. They're going to tell you how sorry they were for betraying you. They're going to want a new day to dawn. They want to stand under the tree and play kissy face. This is somebody that figured out that they uh, betrayed a soulmate. I'm just going to just read cards. Here we go. Give me new love right here. New love. Okay. If you, if you want that reconciliation, it's going to be offered to my cancers. Soon and very soon. You got a new love coming in here too. All right. Got a bunch of jumpers that jumped out. I got a king of pinnacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is the king of the world. That's a damn good catch right there. That person's going to have their hands full if they're coming in now. you got the king of the world showed up right here with a new love. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. with the nine cups, this is like the wish fulfillment. Hmm. Wow. The wish fulfillment, king of the world on new love. And, and uh, this is a soulmate energy, no doubt, man. Mm -hmm. They betrayed you. They want to bring balance into that. I keep looking at them right here. I feel their energy pulling me over here. Yeah, because I couldn't sleep at all last night. I betrayed your ass. I want to look at that some more. Ooh. Um. This new love has the potential right there to help you with five cups, a river of tears. So you're focusing on all these damn spilled cups. There's a cup spiller over here. Cup spill. And there's two new cups right there. It's about turning around and picking up new cups, if you ask me. Lots of cups. See? And this is an energy right here about... Um, Building new, three pins, building new. <laughs> I don't know. You got fire in your chart. It's kind of fun little card, right? You may have fire chart somewhere. Look at, look at the hand on the chin right there. What are we doing? Which way are we going? Follow your passion. Follow your bliss. 
All right. So let's show some cards on these right here. From a cancer, baby. You may have some fire in your chart. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? <laughs> uh, huh? uh, this one right here is pretty sweet, man. It's got nine cups and the king of the world. Help you come out of that river. Tears. This new love wants to build with you. Three pinnacles. This person over here, man. They're a mess. All right. This old energy. What are they thinking and feeling about my cancer? They feel it's been quiet. It's been quiet. <laughs> Maybe praying to the gods. <laughs> Forgive me, man. But, you know, these people that show up like this, you know, and then they wonder why it got quiet. They be like, oh, my God. Day late and a dollar short. Anyway. So the, the old person feels that it's been really, really quiet. <laughs> I bet it has, man. I bet it has, man. Here we go. Here we go. Their actions. We're just going to jump right to their actions. I don't know if they're going to do it. I don't see any communication cards, but I do have a reconciliation card, so there probably is going to be some. Oh, a Mercury came out, the magician. That's a communication card right there. We can do it. We can do it, Cancer. As above, so below. We're soulmates. You can take a betrayal every now and then for me. <laughs> All right, let's look at this new energy over here, huh? I like King of the World. I like Nine Cups. I like the potential of coming out of the river of tears and to build right here. So what's this new energy right here? What are they What do they think and feel about my cancers? Give me a card. Give me a card. Oh, they think you, the cat's meow. They think you nine of pentacles, independent, single, sexy, good looking, got some coins stacked, got the favor of the gods on your hand right there. They think you nine of pentacles. Oh, there you go. Whew. You know, that's minor arcana empress right there. I like that. They'd be like, ooh, that's a catch, man. <laughs> they think you're their wheel of fortune. <laughs> They think you're the uh, once upon a time, uh, you know, they think you're the destiny. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, all right. All right, man. Where are we going with this, man? The Wheel of Fortune came out. I like this new energy so much better than that. But, you know, hard to hard conversations, right? Clearly decide what you want. I want to look at this one right here, right? Uh, potential, potential for this right here. I know what the potential for that is, you know. Um, once I get a taste of blood, I don't know if they ever get over it, you know. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do when a dog bites? Potential right here for the new. What do we got? Take it one step at a time. Look at the Knight of Pentacles came out. This is the only knight that ever crosses the finish line, right? Take it one step at a time. This is a solid. This is solid. This this new energy, Cancer. Don't get fooled again. Oh, look at them over here, just watching you. Little, I don't know. They may speak. It's a page of swords. There's all kinds of swords over here. Page of swords. They've been watching you the whole freaking time. Oh, uh, they're definitely going to reach out and communicate with you. If you're resonating with this, these cards over here are so much nicer. Aren't they? All right. Here we go. Cancer, give me some mages. Freaking tower. <laughs> tower. Who's that skull in your hand right there, Cancer? Tower. <laughs> tower. 
Give me a card. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, the devil. Tower on the devil. Death and rebirth. And the wheel? Well, there's a wheel over there. I'll put that wheel right down there. Anyway. Interpret this read any way you'd like. <laughs> I got two wheels over here. Anyway, Cancer, hey, if you enjoyed this reading, uh, hit that like button for me. Appreciate you following it all the way to this, this part. Thank you very much for your for your view right here, Cancer. Thanks for the like button. Hey, if you got an idea for a title for this video, leave it in the comments down below. I'd appreciate it. Uh, you'll probably see it stuck right up on the top soon and very soon. And before I go here, Cancer, I want to invite you one more time to a meet and greet I got coming up. Beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. I rented the community center over there um, from 12 noon till 10 p.m. Uh, Sunday, July 23rd. Uh, the official address is in the description area of the video, all my videos. I ordered up a bunch of uh, food from Publix. If uh, you're thinking about coming, it's a free event. Uh, bring your beachwear, too, because the Atlantic Ocean is just right over the dune right there from the community center. Um, and like I said, I ordered a bunch of food as well. If you're thinking about coming, if you're planning a road trip, maybe bring some of your, I don't know, your, your uh, nana pudding, maybe your tater salad, maybe some of your angel eggs. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, BYOB too, right? Bring your own party favors. Bring your tarot deck. I'm going to be playing tarot. You're going to be playing tarot with friends. Anyway. It's nothing fancy, but I think it's going to be an amazing time. And my friends are bringing in a DJ from 6 to 10. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. Hoping to see you there, Cancer, July 23rd. See you soon. Bye for now. <laughs> Is that right, Lilac? They call me Tater Salad. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Pets are welcome. Pets are welcome. <laughs> Here we go. I like that, Amy. I like that. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Um, yeah, if you watch the all signs and put, put the title of, uh, of the, uh, Zodiac that you, you know, anyway. <laughs> they call me firecracker. You guys are great. All right. Scorpio. Scorpio, wait all night, four hours and five minutes. Man, Mike just yaggedy schmacks. Let's do it, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Best for last. Integrity. Hello, my friend. Hello, hello, hello. All right, let's see. Is there anybody that I missed? Anybody that I missed? Anybody? All right. If I missed anybody, I got one spot. One spot for Thursday the 13th. One spot left. <laughs> Worth the wait. Thank you, Amy. All right. All right. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, I got some new stuff, too. I got these. These are cool, man. Um, that was a big breakthrough for me to, uh, you know, 
wear these beads, but as soon as I put them on, it felt like magic. Awesome. I'm sold on these things. <laughs> now I know why people wear them. They're cool. You got energy in them. They're awesome. Anyway, got some real breakthrough. Got a little gold one to match it. That's rock and roll. Enough about all my jewelry. Let's play some tarot. Deanna. Deanna. I knew, I knew I was looking for you, huh? Okay. Thank you, Deanna. Oh, they do, they do. Yeah, that's why I wear a lot of stones. They ground me. Because I have air, water, and fire. I don't got hardly, I don't. I don't got no earth in my chart. I'm about as, as as flighty and floaty as they come, man. I'll just I'll just vaporize around here. Mm -hmm. I put some rocks on me. It helps. Helps me stay on earth. <laughs> That's the real reason I wear them. I don't got no earth, man. Yeah, these help anyway. There you are right there, Deanna. Thank you, Deanna. And thank you for letting me know. There you are. And this wraps up Thursday night. Thursday the 13th. Deanna, I got you on my list right here. So that's a nighttime read. Be sure that's a week from tomorrow, Deanna. It's a nighttime read, so be sure to mark your calendar. Thursday the 13th, and our gig starts at 6.30. All that kind of fun stuff. All that kind of fun stuff. All right. Love and light. Thanks for wrapping up Thursday night. If we get another one, it'll be, if it's somebody claimed, uh, grabs a reading, it'll be Friday the 14th from this point. <laughs> all right all right let's do it scorpio scorpio babies scorpio sun moon rising venus scorpio scorpio my fixed water babies my fixed water shuffle them up here a couple times and we're gonna play tarot we're gonna call it a great night thanks for your I'm going to play in tarot with me tonight, my lovelies. Love each and every one of you. That I do. Let's go. Let's go. Two for Scorpio. Here we go. Number three. Scorpio. It's rock and roll. Tarot time, huh? Scorpio style. Hello, Scorpio. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you. That I am, my friends. Thanks for... Clicking that button one more time. Appreciate you very much. I'm going to get right into the reading right here. I do have uh, some uh, something to say at the end of the video. Uh, if you want to stick around, that would be cool. But I'm jumping right into your reading right off the bat. We're doing relationship spreads. It can be home, work, family, the neighbor. I'm focusing on the lover story but you may get a different relationship spread out of this story. So uh, playing with the Terra Illuminati, going to freestyle with that. Going to freestyle with the Tarot Apocalyptus Majors. And let's do it. Love cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Scorpio, a little love story. Give me a love story from the Scorpio babies. Thank you very much. Here we go. First card, Scorpio. Deception. Oh. What's this about? <laughs> what is this about? Deception. Someone's wearing a false mask. And it looks like the angels are taking it off. Okay, Scorpio, 
Scorpio, <laughs> don't mess with Scorpio, man. Don't don't do it. You're going to be found out. You know, Scorpios, man. They can see through this stuff. Don't tell me Scorpio can't see through this. What's going on here, Scorpio? Your deception card, first and foremost. Not only can Scorpio see through that, but Jotaro's talking about it too. Who and what is this? Eyes wide open. Let's go. Scorpio, Scorpio. Addictions are affecting... Codependency. <laughs> what is this? Jeez. Deception and codependency. Addictions are affecting Scorpio's world. Oh, Lordy. Let's go, man. Let's go. I mean, this person should be easy to spot. It may have to do with love. It may not. I told you we're doing relationship spreads right here. I told you I was looking at love. I hope this isn't your love story. This is needy, clingy. Says something about addictions, deception. Oh, God. Scorpio, eyes wide open. Give me a card for Scorpio, please. Letting go. Letting go card came out. <laughs> it says allowing this to unfold. Letting go. All right, man, that's enough. This says that whatever this codependency deception is about, that Scorpio has spotted it, and Scorpio is going to be letting this situation go. Good for you, Scorpio. I want to look at a love story. I hope this is not a lover. Or whatever it is, source is, source is going to put your eyes right on it. You can let it go. Here we go. I want more. I want some love cards with Scorpio, please. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So you're going to be spotting a situation and telling somebody about it. They'd be looking like shocked. Wow, this is crazy. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Well, so somebody's going to be honest. Here we go. Maybe. Oh, my God. Letting go, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. All right. I'm still looking for a love story around here for Scorpio, man. Somebody's getting busted over here, man, about something. And thank God separation came on that. Scorpio, <laughs> I'm going to keep pulling until I get some love cards here. <laughs> Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Jiminy Crickets, goodbye. Scorpio. <laughs> Hello, Scorpio. <laughs> hey, hey, we got a love spread. We're looking for love around here, Scorpio. Here we go. Give me a card, Scorpio. Oh, shit. <laughs> Scorpio, just that we're, oh, my God, deception and money. To don't be don't be letting nobody take advantage of you, Scorpio. Okay, this is somebody who wants to take advantage of you. Hi, 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 hi. Here we go, Scorpio. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. Here we go. Loving yourself first. I don't know. You may only get these love cards here with this story. Here we go. Loving yourself first and foremost. Pouring the love cup on you. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. 
This is uh, some kind of past life. Uh, you just need to fire this person right here, man. You are, you are, you are, because you love yourself. First card came out. Let's see if we can find a love story in here. Anyway, that's for a Scorpio out there somewhere, man. Enough. Anyway, this person was after your money. They want to take advantage of you. <sighs> Scorpio said, hell no. We're pouring that love cup on top of ourselves. And I'm hoping that there's somebody in your world that you're playing kissy face right now with Scorpio. I'm so rooting for you. Look at all the angels out rooting for you, too. You can do it. You can do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's light this up, man. Scorpio, loving yourself first. Scorpio, loving yourself first. Let's go, man. And staying optimistic about your love life. That's so powerful with all this mess. And Scorpio, staying optimistic about your love life and loving yourself first. Well, you know what's going to come here? Love's going to come here. Contrast shows what we don't want. Huh? We never know what we do want until we know what we don't want. This clearly going to show you what you don't want. You probably already see it. And it looks to me like you are manifesting what you do want. Yeah, see right here. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Staying optimistic, loving yourself first. I told you there's a love story unfolding here. It's beautiful because you, you know what you don't want. Don't, don't be hard on yourself if you found yourself in a situation where, where you're realizing, I don't want this, because that's the only way we know what we do want. So don't be hard on yourself if, you, if you're finding out that I don't want this. <laughs> don't put your energy into that anymore. When you realize you don't want a situation or a person or whatever anymore, don't put your energy on that anymore. Oh, Scorpio, my fixed water babies. Don't put your energy on that no more. Do your best to release yourself from that energy. And focus on something new. And it's right here, ain't it? Calling in your soulmate. Staying optimistic and loving yourself first. And giving and learning. See, this is life lesson. This as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. All right. Oh, oh look at true love came out here, man. True love came out on here. What a journey just with the cards. Oh, my God. Oh, what a journey just with the cards. Scorpio, we got a true love story right here. Clear this energy right here. Clear this energy, huh? All right. That's some past soulmate came in here, man. I don't know. They did not. This is not your friend. Anyway, love you, Scorpio. Let's go. Love yourself first. Staying optimistic. Calling in your soulmate. Forgiving and learning. True love. Beautiful. Scorpio. Give me give me some cards of Scorpio, babies. Terra Luminati. Overall. Overall. Scorpio. Scorpio. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's look at a true love story. Hangman. Oh, my God. That's the overall. Dark Night of the Soul. Hangman's tree. But I see source coming in there. Anybody else see that light coming in? I see that light coming in there. Bring my Scorpio down out this hangman's tree, this dark night of the soul. You're coming out of the tree. You're getting a new perspective. You're seeing things clear these days. Good for you. <laughs> and there's a fool card. About a fresh start, a new beginning. Two major arcanas. Aquarius, Aries, Uranus. The planet of sudden change. Scorpio coming out of the tree. 
Yay. Heading for true love. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know if you've met this person yet. I don't even want to look at that. You need to fire this person as soon as you possibly can. If this is resonating with you, this is not a past life soulmate to come in here to bless you. I don't know what's going on. F -f 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 fired. Let's let's go right here. So I, I'm hoping maybe you have met this new friend. So this is what I'm going to look at right here. What is this new friend, this true love potential right here? What's their feelings for my Scorpio? What's that? What they what they thinking and feeling about Scorpio? Because I see you coming out of the hangman's tree and taking a fresh start, new beginning, a leap of faith in a new direction. What's this new friend thinking and feeling about my Scorpio? He 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 he. That you're their wish fulfillment. You're their nine of cups. You make them feel sparkly and happy, giddy. <laughs> hey, Scorpio, I like your new friend right here, man. They seem to like you too. This is Four Swords. This is a card of healing. Healing the heart. Healing the mind. This, this new friend... They may know about bad news right here. This is a card of, um, I, I swear, um, their feelings for you. If they, 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 if they know this energy, so this may not even be a lover. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it, it could be a family. I don't know. But how they feel for you is. Uh, they want you to heal the heart, heal the mind. Um, and they want you to use this fourth sword right here to cut this, sever this. And they probably be pray for you. So I'm channeling. Scorpio's new friend, the one that has the potential for true love right here. What are their intentions with my Scorpio? <laughs> that's a golden coin, Scorpio. You know, that's a cornerstone of 10 pins. That's a solid offer, man. They, you know, there we go, man. Their intentions is to make a real offer to my Scorpio right here. So I'm real. Uh, they want to build. I can see 10 pins with you. I like it. Scorpio. Their actions. Scorpio's new friend right here. Their actions. What do we got? What's going on with them? Oh, six of wands, man. <laughs> their actions. I don't know. Maybe come prancing in on their, on their beautiful white steed, showing you all kinds of attention. <laughs> Huh? It's a card of uh, attention, receiving the attention that you're worthy of. That's what's their intentions. Show you, show you attention. Coming in here, look at it, man. This is uh, Jupiter and Leo. I like it. I like it a lot. They want the victory with my Scorpio. <laughs> okay, man, I'm digging your spread. Bright days ahead, man. Just cut that energy out, man. Here we go. Here we go. Give me more, more of your new friends' actions. What's this about right here? Oh no, seven of seven of wands came out. It's my hero's card. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe they want to fight with you against this right here. You know, they, you know, this is my card, you know, about somebody standing up and doing what's best for them. And they don't give a shit who likes it or who don't like it. So that's a very interesting card right there. They may, they may want to help you fight right here, Scorpio. They may. <laughs> yeah. 
Here we go, man. Here we go. Scorpio. Let's pull some cards for Scorpio right here. What's Scorpio thinking, feeling about that new friend? <laughs> here we go. What we got? Oh, Scorpio. They're the Empress, Mike. They have the cats. <laughs> There's this love in the air around here. Oh, they're the Empress, Mike. Ooh. Yeah, we, we could build a garden to eat around here. <laughs> hey, Scorpio. Scorpio got love in the air, man. Huh? You may already have deep feels for this new friend. Because new for me can talk about six months, right? Anyway, they want to help you fight the good fight. What's a good fight? A good fight is one that you win. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a card right here. What's Scorpio think of feeling about that new friend? Oh. You know what it says? It says that Scorpio feels that um, this new friend um, could help you. Uh, see, because up here, man, I don't know, this thief. This is like a thief up here. The money and all that. Somebody, it's all right here, see? And Five of Pentacles um, is a lack card, and Six of Pentacles is um, entrepreneur energy. And and uh, Venus, right? Uh, love and abundance. So this tells me that Scorpio sees great potential with this individual to actually... Uh, well, uh, build a Ten of Pentacles world with them, which is a, a world of, of, of everything, right? Um, the power couple, um, entrepreneurship. I need more on this. Entrepreneurship. Um, Venus loves here. So it's not just all about, it's not, I'm not saying that Scorp is just interested in the potential of coin because the Empress is here. But definitely, um, this person um, could absolutely help you come out of any hardship that this individual um, and, the, and, the, and these cards said they're willing to do that as well. So <laughs> here we go. How does Scorpio feel about this friend right here? The King of Pins came out. <laughs> this is the Scorpio thinks their new friend is the king or the queen of the world. You know, this is somebody financially established too, not Scorpio. I like it, man. I do. You know, and it says that, uh, I don't know, it says you two are going to go for it and build. Look at all these pinnacles that are coming out here. We got a story, right? Five pins, six pins. Seven pins, king of pins, the empress. Yes. It says you two may build some kind of business together. Anyway, I like it. What an interesting spread. Um, okay, potential outcome, huh? Potential outcome. I see it right here. I see it. It is uh, entrepreneurship. Um, a very powerful, there's love here too. There's love and stability. And it's true love, man. Um, anyway, give me a potential. What we got right here to build three pins. It's, it's doing the, it's doing the, uh, it's, uh, it's like a, it's like a straight, a, a pinnacle straight, a straight of pinnacles. It's like we're playing poker. And Scorpio's winning. And love. Love and money. Love and money is the potential outcome right here. My Scorpio. Give me a major. Give me a major. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God, Scorpio. That's the tower. And whose skull is that in your hand? 
and the roof's on fire. Let the mother humper burn. I'm putting that right there, man. I'm putting that right there on that mess. Scorpio Tower. <laughs> and let the wheel spin. Look at the wheel of fortune. The wheel of destiny. I like that right here, huh, Scorpio? I hope you enjoyed this read, Scorpio. It was a lot of fun. Love, man. This is like what we don't want, what we do want. It's all right here, Scorpio. I love you. Hey, if you enjoyed this reading, hit that like button for me. Appreciate that, Scorpio. And if you got a title that's ringing out, leave it in the comments for me. You'll probably see it on top of this video. And uh, before I go, Scorpio, I want to invite you to a meet and greet I got coming up. It's going to be soon, very soon. It is July 23rd. It's going to be in beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. I rented the community center. Nothing fancy, but it's going to be really special. Um, it's right by the beach. The beach is right over the dunes. So if you're coming, bring your bring your beachy stuff. It's free. It's going to be from 12 noon to 10 p.m. All the official information is in the description area of this. Uh, I've got a bunch of food from Publix. I'm going to bring, hey, if you want to bring a little something, you know, if you got some some Nana pudding, well, yeah. You know, or, or some tater salad. You know, your your mom's recipe, your recipe. You know, we got some angel eggs. You know what I'm saying? Bring that if you would like to. Uh, bring your tarot deck if you want. I'm going to be playing tarot there with my friends. You might as well be playing tarot with your friends. Got a DJ coming in from 6 to 10. All in all, should be a really fun time. It's all free. Hoping to see you, Scorpio. Maybe you bring a new friend, man. Anyway, July 23rd. Hopefully I'll see you, Scorpio. Have a good night. Bye for now. Wow, oh, that was fun. <laughs> Angel eggs. You know that's right, man. Yeah. yeah. Quit giving the devil all the glory for all the good stuff, man. No creep didn't invent nothing. Yeah, yeah, we're angel eggs. Those are yummy, man. I don't eat devil food cake either. I eat chocolate cake. Thank you. <laughs> I don't need no devil food. What the, who the hell's idea was that? No, oh, that's just delicious, man. It's pure chocolate cake with fudge on it. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. I had fun tonight, my friends. Hope you did too. We went long, but it's all good. Got a lot of announcements about the party and all that. Um, I hope to see many, many, many of my members. Really looking forward to it. Um, 23rd. I'm sure you heard that, what, 12 times tonight? <laughs> Here we go. All right. I love you guys. I'll see many of you tomorrow night, 6.30. I'll put a community post up about who I'll be reading for. And you guys have an amazing night. I'll see you soon.